whether a public servant or someone in government, you would find the Visionary Compass Accelerator program as a powerful platform and launch pad to put momentum behind your mission. Over the next 40 weeks, you will embark on a journey of strategic planning, skill development, and relentless execution. Our expert coaches, industry leaders, and success mentors will be with you every step of the way. Imagine being part of a community that not only believes in your vision, but also provides the tools and guidance to bring it to life. What we have within the Visionary Compass Accelerator program are four distinct execution blueprints based on your mastery level. Our digital execution blueprints will support your ability to execute your vision wherever you are currently because it offers you a plug and play step-by-step -step guide with specific actions and tasks that move you on to being able to get your vision to the next level. What is most exciting with the execution blueprint is that we don't just put it in your hands and leave you alone. You actually have certified accountability coaches by the International Association of Coaching in the USA that would also walk that journey with you. You also have access to Dr. Ole Konovalov's Global Visionary Leadership Coaching Certification. You have access to internships and field trips that set you up in a real industry context, whatever your service um, area is. That's the Visionary Compass Accelerator difference. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this evening or this afternoon or this morning, whatever the time is in your part of the globe. We're delighted to have you join us at Visionary Compass on this fireside chat with DDK and the incredible Lady Vivian Jokotadi Adeniyi. We're pleased to have you here. We're very glad that you made out time of your busy schedule this evening after work, or maybe it's in the middle of the day, but we're glad to have you online on Zoom and on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us. Would like to know where you're joining from. Just say hello. Hello from this side of the world. <laughs> hello from here, hello from there. I see some videos popping on. Thank you very much. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Would like to know where you're joining us from on this fireside chat. Thank you, Stella from Canada. Lovely to see you. We're glad to have you here. It's really a pleasure and an honor to host you at Visionary Compass every single time. The Visionary Compass Accelerator Program is our signature high-tier coaching program for bold visionaries who are ready to take their vision to the next level. So if you know that execution is on your plate, is part of the major moves that you want to make this year, then you are in the right room. You came to the right fireside chat. Welcome, Adelmi. Welcome from Nigeria. Welcome from Nigeria, Ella. Lovely to see you. It's lovely to have everyone. We're truly delighted that you could join us today. And it's with great pleasure that we bring Lady Joko Tade Adeniyi and DDK to you to share with us the secrets that they have deployed to attain the success that they have across their different platforms. Two years ago, we actually had Lady Jokotade at the Fireside Chat for Visionary Compass Accelerator Program, and over 6,000 people, close to 7,000 people, have watched that video. Across her different expressions, Lady Jokotade is a genius that continues to manifest and execute her work with such precision, high tier, and she's just everything that a visionary should be and more, everything about her brand is autographed with excellence and you want to listen to her today. Thank you for joining us from Ghana, from UK, from Canada. It's really lovely to have every single one of you here. I wanted to know what your intentions or expectations are tonight. What are you hoping to hear as you listen to DDK and Lady Vijay share with us 
in a sisterhood, in a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, the tools, the secrets, and how they have been able to execute their great ideas. These are amazing women with multi-influential expressions who command hundreds of thousands of followership between them. And it's amazing that we get the privilege of sitting in the room with them today to hear them share their secrets. It's going to be explosive. I remember that I commented on Instagram to say, are we even ready for the combustion that is about to happen today? Because I know it's going to be good. So tell us what your expectations are. What are you hoping for today? What are you hoping to hear? What are you hoping to learn? What are those bold moves that you want to make? And you know that listening to them share their secrets is really going to change the game for you. Would really like to know. So put it in the comment section and let's see you engage so we know that you're truly here. Don't just join Nicodemusly or be hiding. We want to see your comments. We want to feel your energy. We want to know that you're ready for what we're about to serve tonight because it's really, really going to be good. Hello, Dr. Newton from Germany. Hello, Lydia Koswa from Ghana. It's really lovely to have you. Thank you for joining us. I'm waiting to see your expectations. What are you hoping to see? What are you hoping to hear? Are you looking forward to seeing them? Are you looking forward to seeing DDK fresh from the retreat at Marrakech? At least if you couldn't join at market you can join online <laughs> it's lovely to have that opportunity and then we'll get some of that oil that is still flowing from her and it's always a pleasure every time to listen to lady vj she's amazing if you follow notique or you have followed her work for many years as an artist and as a designer you will see how she has evolved and how she continues to execute at such high levels. I am looking forward to knowing what the secret is because I need it for myself too. We're super pumped. Yes, Ella is looking forward to be propelled by their wisdom and insight. I absolutely agree with you. Sharing or hearing these two women share with us is really going to propel us into the bold next move that we have to make this year. There's something about studying the people that have gone before us or watching how they operate and the principles that they use. And DDK has promised that it's going to be no holds bad. They're going to share with us from their hearts. They're going to share with us the real secrets that they have used to become who they are today. And we all need to hear that. Maureen is looking forward to bankable, disruptive light. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. I love it. She wants to see that that as, as it comes through DDK's brilliant beauty, you're just alliterating like DDK. You're just, you're a chip of the old block. <laughs> ah, I love it. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. You want the keys that will unlock your next LDA. I agree with you. You're ready and you're going to get them today. So just gather your materials. Make sure you have your journal, your water your pen, be ready to write because they came to serve. They came to give. They came to unpack it for us. And it is the motive for me. It's the love in it. It's what they have for us without holding back. Aren't you grateful? I want you to just put some emojis and just show some love to DDK and Lady VJ. These are extraordinary transformational women that we pay thousands of dollars to have their audience. And they're coming together today to just give us the secrets that they use to execute their bold vision. I am looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm super pumped and I can't wait to read your comments. Also, Adeomi wants to be equipped with real life insight to launch her into her next. Absolutely. You're going to get it. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to get it. I'm looking forward to it myself and it's just, it's just going to be amazing. So tag a friend, invite a friend, send them the link, let them know that they should be here as well because you need to rally your troops as well. Don't be the only one listening to this. Don't send them the replay. Let them be in the room, be in the room, make the effort to be in the room tonight. So forward it to them and let them know that they should be joining you. Yes, Sister Lara says that she can't wait for this session. The big nuggets of wisdom and brutal execution are coming through. Yes, yes, yes. And if you haven't applied to join Visionary Compass Accelerator Program, I don't know where you have been. If you are execution driven, if you want to achieve and go from ideas to I did it, if you want to take that bold vision to the next level, if you want to clarify it, build it, launch it, or scale what 
you have already built, then you need to be in Visionary Compass. And I'm not even trying to get you in now. I'm just telling you as it is. You need to be in VCAP. And you all you have to do is go to myvisionarycompass.com and you will be able to start your application. The doors are closing really, really soon. So don't procrastinate any longer. You are one of those hundred bold visionaries that we're looking for. And there's no reason for you to hesitate. Don't procrastinate further. Just go for it. Be bold. Go for it. If VCAP is one of your bold moves for this year, then you have to take that leap and apply. Put in your application before the doors shut. And then you hear you have to wait till next year. Mm -mm. I, I won't be happy to hear that about you. Make sure that you have applied or at least started your application so that you can submit it by this weekend. Damlola is looking forward to the specific insights that will provide momentum and morale to start executing her goal. Absolutely. You are going to get that tonight, I'm sure. So please keep them coming. Tell us your expectations for tonight, what you're looking to hear from DBK and Lady Jokotade, and I assure you that you're in for a wonderful time. I'm grateful that it made time out of their busy schedules. It is the love for me. It is how much they want to see us rise. It's how much they want to see us go bold and execute those ideas and plans and visions and goals that we have. So if you want to learn the art of brutal execution, you are in the right room. At this point, we're going to take an, a video about VCAP. So in case you are just joining us and you're wondering what is this program about, it's the Visionary Compass Accelerator Program. And it's our 40 week signature high tier coaching program that is execution driven, designed to take you from where you are to where you want to be, to make you that visionary that is worth becoming. So we'll take a break and watch the video. And when we come back, it'll be time to invite our hosts and our guests. Are you ready to turbocharge your vision into reality? We present Visionary Compass Accelerator Program VCAP, a 40-week execution-driven coaching program designed for those who dare to dream big. In today's world, what sets dreamers apart from doers is the power of execution, and that is what VCAP is all about. Whether you are an entrepreneur, a career professional, a ministry gift, a thought leader, a public servant, or someone in government, you will find the Visionary Compass Accelerator program as a powerful platform and launch pad to put momentum behind your mission. Over the next 40 weeks, you will embark on a journey of strategic planning, skill development, and relentless execution. Our expert coaches, industry leaders, and success mentors will be with you every step of the way. Imagine being part of a community that not only believes in your vision, but also provides the tools and guidance to bring it to life. What we have within the Visionary Compass Accelerator program are four distinct execution blueprints based on your mastery level. They are digital execution blueprints will support your ability to execute your vision wherever you are currently because it offers you a plug and play step-by-step -step guide with specific actions and tasks that move you on to being able to get your vision to the next level. What is most exciting with the execution blueprint is that we don't just put it in your hands and leave you alone. You actually have certified accountability coaches by the International Association of Coaching in the USA that would also walk that journey with you. You also have access to Dr. Ole Konovalov's Global Visionary Leadership Coaching Certification. You have access to internships and field trips that set you up in a real industry context, whatever your service um, area is. That's the Visionary Compass Accelerator difference. This isn't just a coaching program. It's a catalyst for change. Whether you're a founder, an aspiring entrepreneur, a seasoned professional, or someone seeking personal growth, the Visionary Compass Accelerator program will elevate you to new heights. Don't just take our word for it. Visit our website www.myvisionarycompass.com and hear from our community who have experienced the transformative power of VCAP. Ready to turn your vision into reality? 
Join the Visionary Compass Accelerator program today and become part of a community that thrives on execution, innovation, and success. The future is here. Let's make it extraordinary together. Visit myvisionarycompass.com today. All righty, that video never gets old. <laughs> No matter how, how many times I watch it, I'm always still blown away by it. And it's not just because VCAP is breakthrough and breathtaking in its entirety. It is also because of the person who is behind VCAP. So I'm about to bring up my CEO, the founder of the Visionary Compass Accelerator Program, one woman who has become a mighty nation, one woman who created a high tier coaching program through the principles that she used to turn her life around and become a high value visionary. She has bottled all this wisdom, put it together into a 40 week signature execution program. And if your video is on, you can see how she is popping and glowing and radiating and the Marrakesh oil is just coming out like, literally we can press it we can apply it to our skin this is not cut soap for me this is pour some oil for me mama pour some oil for us and please join me as we welcome transformational catalysts none well like no other <laughs> public policy expert debola deji kurumi ddk give it up in the comment section you're welcome ma it's lovely to see you. You look beautiful as always. I'm quite excited to be here and you're just giving me the energy that I need. You know, we've spent our entire day together and as I was listening to you, I was like, how does she even do it? How does she, take? I mean, just stay so fresh, um, you know, with the energy we all need. It's precious. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for my flowers. I'm truly pleased to spend this precious uh, evening. WAT could be morning, afternoon on your side, but always, always, always just uh, a rare privilege, you know, to make powerful moments that really count uh, with amazing visionaries like you. I love it. I love it. Tell me where you are in your life this season. Where are you? How are you feeling? What are you expectant for, thankful for? What are you looking forward to? What is possible from where you stand today? And what will give you um, joy if you think about 2024? Where are you? Where do you want to go? Let's talk about that. I want to read from you in the chats. I'm excited to have each of you. And I want to just uh, hopefully connect at the level of what's happening with your vision, what's happening with your um, personal aspirations, you know, what kind of seizing are you in? What are the miracles that could break open just because it's 2024 and it's the bold year? Damilola says it's a seizing of breaking limits. It's a seizing of breaking limits. Mm, loving it. Loving it. It's a seizing or breaking limits. Talk to me about the kind of year that you are having. Let's see what we have come in. I'm in a season of advancement. Lemuel from Nigeria, currently in the space where I know I can be more than this, and I'm ready to step into my bold era. Mm. I'm looking forward to fulfilling God's purpose for my life this year and being sound, spirit, soul, and body. Lovely. Experiencing bold beginnings and resilient resurgence, a season of taking bold and audacious steps toward my goals, a season of ascension as a Joseph and an Esther, powerful, a very special season where I am on take off. It's been both very fruitful and stretching, excited for what 
is to come in a very special season. She says, a year of surging through resistance. Wow. And putting in the work to birth excellently. Marvi says, in my current season, I'm being prepared and propelled toward the future I have seen. I'm serving, learning massively and stretching boldly. I'm looking forward to evolving and unleashing all the treasures God has put in me for my generation. This is so good. This is so rich. I love every bit of it. Keep it coming for me. And uh, I will be happy to read from you and to read what you are creating in year 2024. Okay, I have one more here, a season of chartering new territories. I love it. I'm excited about all the new beginnings and what is to come. Extremely special. So you're welcome. Um, you already know by now, first of all, that Lady Jokotadi is very special to me. She is not just my friend and sister, but she's a source of great inspiration and with the work that she's put in over the years, uh, sort of releasing her multidimensionalness and many-sided giftings, it's become really clear that when your heart is distinct and set on a mission, you really don't need permission. You just can take ownership of your dreams and your purpose and you know, work with the midwives that can really help you break through into extraordinary wins in your life. And that is what um, I find truly compelling about Lady Jokotade. Um, I believe with all my heart that there are answers that she has for us today, not even merely around uh, the power of brutal execution, which is a critical part of why we're here, but also around just leaning into who you are. She does that so excellently. I find it really exciting. It gives me great joy. And I believe that there will be such light that you would access today between our, uh, the both of us and the conversations that we're going to share that would not only empower you to take ownership of your vision, but to also lean into who you truly are, to respond to who you truly are, and to serve from a place of uh, a reinforced identity, a joyful expression of your gifts, and to manifest the calling that is over your life. And that is what we're here for tonight. I want you to also know that tonight is special because we have some visionaries who are going to be participating in our pitch contest. You get a chance to be the jury. You get a chance to be part of the jury because we're going to be taking a public voting um, and you would listen up to some very remarkable, you know, big ideas that this courageous visionaries have for 2024. And we can take that on, listen to them, be inspired by them. And then we get on into the voting. Uh, we are also in the final days before we close out on Visionary Compass Accelerator Program in year 2024. It's that breakthrough coaching uh, program that I have built and I feel truly proud of. And it's not merely even a, a program. It's what we love to call an execution engine room that just turns your vision to fire and helps you move from ideas to I did it. And we are just days away to closing the application. Um, we're closing out on Wednesday, next week, Wednesday. It's been a truly remarkable journey, you know, interacting with the applications of stunning visionaries across the world, across industries and sectors who are saying, hey, this is the time of my life to make a big difference. It's the time of my life to transform my vision to reality. It's the time of my life to scale the good work I have already been doing and to transition from being an individual to becoming an institution. 
it gives me joy. We've done this for more than 70 visionaries already uh, since 2021, and we're going big, going bold. We have jokingly but accurately called it VCAP Pro Max, you know, because we're just taking things to the next level um, with Visionary Compass Accelerator Program. And if you're in a place where you're uh, seeking out a midwife to help you birth a big, significant assignment in your heart, and you want to be on the path of delivering on your life's mission, 100%, you want to be in VCAP 2024, you definitely don't want to wait till next year. And we're days away from it. I've had a lot of people um, just asking me again and again, DDK, what is in VCAP for me? Um, how do I know that I'm ready for it? What stands it out? And how should I set myself up to be a part of this community? And I'm just going to take a few minutes to offer you again an introduction into this execution engine room. Um, I am also, I I'm feeling extra excited about the fact that this particular cohort has a rich, uh, you know, diversity of industries and assignments, which is just really beautiful to see. We've got a, a, a number of visionaries who've come into the program, uh, who've gotten their admission and they are set to go live with us this month. By the way, that's true. It's finally this month. That's so cool. That's so exciting. It's this month. And we're seeing this rich diversity coming through across uh, industries, you know, um, visionaries who are playing in entrepreneurship, some in careers, some in social impact and governance, some in ministry, um, and then they are in different sectors. It's just really special because we are also getting this sense that that diversity is going to enrich uh, the kind of community. And that's what we've always had. Our alumni network is compelling. It's star-studded. We have some of the finest leaders of African descent, you know, who've been a part of the program, who still belong to the network. And uh, we're looking forward to the richness that we will experience again with the quality visionaries within community. Um, I'm going to share screen, you know, run you through a few things that you should be thinking about as far as VCAP is concerned, and it will be our joy to serve you this year. Uh, we have a number of people who have said to me, DDK, I don't feel ready, right? I don't feel ready. And to be honest, there's a way that I will hear people say that to me. And I'll think to myself, yeah, sometimes, you know, we're not really ready for these things. But what I started to say is, if your heart already beats for a vision, you see, if your heart already burns and you feel like this is the year to birth this thing. That is the sign that you're ready. That's how I say it. If your heart burns, if you are already, you know, restless about an assignment, it is the clear sign that this is the time for it. I've had people say to me, uh, I don't feel qualified enough. I've had people say to me, I don't know where to put this. My life still, uh, seems really full. But the answer that I, I find myself offering is that if your heart is burning, the fire is the sign. And I'd love someone to actually put that in the comment section for me tonight. You know, I think that is a great way to even get on into the conversation. The fire is the sign. The fire is the sign. If your heart is burning, the fire is the sign. If you are restless and you want more, you want to shift your vision to a whole different level of possibilities, the fire is the sign. That restlessness is the sign. If you've exceeded your current bandwidth and you've created the level of, you know, you've created the level of results that you called up until this point, and you are now saying, I want to scale that result. I want to shift what I've created into a whole different level. The fire is the sign. You see this, the fire is the sign and you don't have to wait. You know, it can be this year. I've made some radical decisions in my own life even when I didn't feel fully prepared and it became the door opener into a remarkable year of meaning for me. And that is what God has called me to do um, in 2024. It's, it's a very defining part of my assignment to really see visionaries step out into transformation by moving 
moving from big ideas to actually big and bold birthings, you see. So how do we take you from, you know, all these great assignments that you've worked on and you feel proud of, but how can you take it to legacy leadership? How can you shift it to institutions? How can you expand your reach? How can you increase your impact? How can you elevate your authority? And how can you multiply your wealth? These are questions that VCAP can answer for you. Um, and for those who reached out to me and said, Didike, I want to know more, I'm considering it 100%. Um, you know, the fire is the sign, right? We've had over 70 visionaries, a number of them you actually know and love who have been a part of Visionary Compass. And I believe with all my heart that this is your own seizing. Visionary Compass has what we call the execution blueprints. This thing is so breath taking is so mind blowing and mind bogging <laughs> that I don't know if I sell it well enough. I don't know if I talk about it enough. Like the blueprints are just MBA great step-by-step -step guide that really leads you to get real results with your vision. Now, the execution blueprint would have been powerful enough if it was just one version, but we've got four different blueprints based on exactly where you are with your vision. If you are the level of clarifying your vision, we've got an execution blueprint for you that shows you week on week, month on month, what you should work on. If you're on the level of launching your vision, we've got an execution blueprint for you. If you are the level of building that vision into an institution, we've got a blueprint for you. If you are the level of scaling that vision out and reaching new markets, expanding your impact, we've got a, a blueprint for you. And we don't even leave you to determine by yourself what mastery level you are. <laughs> we give you this very archetypical assessment that helps you really clarify your mastery level. And the execution blueprints are now tech-driven. They are tech-enabled. They are sitting in an app. And week on week, you actually have specific activities that we invite you to work on that move you into actual execution of your goals. We've got the VCAP core curriculum. The Visionary Compass core curriculum is the most comprehensive, we dare to say, and execution-driven curriculum you would find if you are a bold visionary and you're ready to master the art of execution and you want to accelerate your vision, you want to get results and you want to be in the front lines of quality work and master craftsmanship, you really, really want to shift from all these big ideas to making a radical impact in your space. 100% the core curriculum is yours. Eight modules broken down into weekly subtracts so you cover 32 subtracts in the course of one year. Visionary Compass allows you work with me as your coach for a whole year. Talk about midwifing stuff or 40 weeks, right? From March to December, 40 weeks were together. We're building together. And it's just a joy to even see some of our visionaries who are already in the program on the call tonight. We've got expert mentors and certified coaches by the International Association of Coaching in the USA. They're going to be holding your hands all through the journey. You won't be thrown in the deep end. Week on week, you, you, you have the accountability you've always wanted, right? Who doesn't like that call that says, hey, Mrs. Notch, you're meant to have concluded this particular set of tasks, you know, and I'm looking at the app, I can't see it. What's happening? Do you need support? Everybody wants that. And that's exactly what we're going to do with you. We've got a faculty of expert mentors who are leaders across industry or industries and leaders ac across key competencies you need, branding, marketing, financial management, investments, um, you know, sales, human resource and capital, just all the things you really need in this season, you're going to find those uh, certified coaches and expert mentors delivering that value for you. Experiential immersion, we've got internships, field trips, a certification course, a leadership intensive to an African country. It's just really good stuff. The community is powerful. And this uh, cohort, we have added access to Ole Konovalov's 
Visionary Leadership Certification Program, which I'm also a graduate of. And it's been listed as the number two on the global gurus list of the world's top uh, leadership development programs. We've added that for you. You get into a, a, a two particular tiers within VCAP and you have access as well uh, to the certification program. It works. VCAP works. You know, we, we've we worked with uh, amazing visionaries since 2021 and helped them shift their work into whole new levels of clarity and execution. And it will be my joy to do the same for you. You, you have some of these remarkable leaders continuing to talk about how um, Visionary Compass has been the game changer for their work. Yagazi is still my favorite photographer. She's taking shots of me for my birthday this month. And it's just always a joy to see how she's coming to the front lines, um, you know, in the photography art industry across the continent. And VCAP was what she needed to shift her assignment. A lot of you also know Bumi Odua, who is a very uh, distinguished voice when it comes to relationships and marriage. And she was in VCAP. It helped her to launch her signature Waiting Gracefully program, as well as shifting her into uh, systems and structure within her organization. Abisade is likely on this call. She's my friend and sister, and she's such a standout um, within Africa's fashion and apparel industry. VCAP was a game changer for her. If it could do it for her, I 100% believe that he'll do it for you. Ugochi is actually not only a superstar visionary, but when she was in VCAP in 2021, we had everyone just in awe of the dedication, the excellence, the commitment to learning, and the shift in execution um, that she experienced within VCAP. Again, we would love, love, love to do the very same thing for you. You know, Lady Bodam, um, if, if you were at my clarity call, I gave you the full gist about her and the way that her journey has become so impactful for many others continues to assure me that we must be people who 100% live on the execution lane. And that is what we will do with you um, as we get on in the conversation tonight. My sister is here. Lady J is dearly beloved. We've got an army on YouTube sort of looking forward to the conversation as well. I'm excited for every one of you in the room. I thank you with all my heart for the investments that you're making to step into this visionary life in full. What did we say the sign was? Remind me, let me be sure that we're doing this together. What is the sign? The fire is the sign. The fire is the sign. If it burns in your heart, 100% it means it's time. If it burns in your heart, it means it's time. If you're ready to take the vision to the next level, it means it's time. If you're ready to transform what God has given you into something that impacts generations and, you know, leaves a legacy for humanity, it means it's time. And for all my amazing visionaries who are already in VCAP 2024, shout out to you. For the visionaries who get a chance to make a pitch tonight for us to select our top three best for the contest who would get a uh, hundred percent access into VCAP, the only ones who do, um, then we also congratulate you already. And I'm looking forward to um, your pitch presentation after my fireside chat with Lady Jokotade Adeni. She's already in the room and I'm going to do the honors of bringing her up in a moment, but you need to let me know how you're feeling about VJ Nautic being in the room with us tonight. Let me know how you're feeling about it and how, how ready you are for the session. Um, her video is going to come up shortly, you know, and we will be able to get right into her session. Mrs. Notch, are you ready? Yes, please, ma'am. We'll just take Lady Vijay's bio and then she'll come up in a bit.
Vivian Joko Tade Adeni is fondly known as Joko Tade, an international visual artist, creative entrepreneur, and speaker who inspires a global audience with her art, words, and voice. Her journey as a serial entrepreneur and innovator began at the age of six, overcoming the label of being a jack of all trades, master of none, with numerous successful startups, including the recent launch of Nautic.com, a global lifestyle brand empowering go getters. Joko Tade inspires other multi passionate entrepreneurs to embrace their talents and rise above cultural limitations. Her podcasts and talk shows reach audiences in over a hundred countries. As an artist, Joko Tade is renowned for her iconic use of minimal clean lines to illustrate compelling stories and collaborate with influential brands, amplifying their messaging and extending their impact. Her limited edition work supports her mission to empower creative enterprise in developing countries. Named one of Houston's top 20 rising stars and outstanding entrepreneurs, Joko Tade is a trailblazing artist, designer, and creative entrepreneur. With a commitment to benefiting women in the creative industry and overlooked individuals in developing countries. She frequently serves as a keynote speaker, inspiring others to embrace their talents and focus on impactful goals. Her book, Fresh Start, the step-by-step -step journey to rebuild and renew your life is an international bestseller. In her quiet moments, she enjoys drawing, reading, writing, and cooking for her family of four. Joko Tade lives and works near Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, let us make welcome the internationally renowned visual artist how are lovely, you? lovely. <laughs> yes. right. Oh, wow. Oh gosh, hello. All together, you. special. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you feeling today? Yeah. I'm feeling elegant and wonderful. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. And first, may I just love on your team? Starting with Mrs. N, she's she's just a vocabulary. She's she's a living vocabulary. Okay, so so just kudos to you. And I see so many lovely team members on here. Is it is it Lady Oluwashio? Is it Lady Diana? Lady Damilola? I mean, too many. Just too many. Lady Caroline. Too many. And the audience. I'm grateful. And then of course you. What am I going to do about you? I don't. I'm not sure what we're going to do about each other. So I'm grateful to be here. I love you. It's a delight and such an honor for me to be here with you, for you, and for this wonderful audience today. So thank you for having me. And hello, everyone. Bonjour to all of you. And yeah, I'm so grateful to be here. Oh, gosh, my <laughs> sis. Oh, oh, gosh, I love you. You know, I mean, beyond just how precious you truly are and even the sacrifice that you've made to be here today, you know, you're sandwiching in between many important special events, you know, happening in this season of your life. What I think always just marks my heart every time I speak with you, especially privately, mm -hmm. is is how much joy and peace and love flows out, even in a voice note. And I'll listen to it again and be like, oh, gosh, don't I just love her? And you see my last uh, uh, conversation or my last <laughs> yeah, conversation, I sent out a voice note yeah. because I love the effect yours has on me. I thought <laughs> I'm going, I will do a voice note to her. And Ooh. so when you you know, speaking back to me and you said, ah, oh, I love how you're sounding. Are you sound, are we sounding like, like, or what? I said, yeah, girl, that's the effect you're having. It's beautiful. It's refreshing. It's Thank genuine. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. There Thank you. is a whole army, Lady J, mm -hmm. who want to go here. An mm -hmm. army passionate 
about stepping beyond the borders, the limitations, the fears, and even the previous successes yes. uh, to say yes. You know, we see it as a year of yes. yes. And there's just a, a caliber of visionaries that we've been blessed with. We have access to their minds and who have a, a relentless passion to make God proud. And what we need to see, which is also just so strong as an assignment in my spirit, is that there are those who love the Lord, but who are unconsciously walking in disobedience, not because they want to, but mm. because they don't know how to right. convert the assignments and come into spaces of power and execution. And so I started to say to myself, if we do not know how to um, create breakthroughs through mm. the power of execution, Mm. We will be people who are strong on seeing, but we mm. may not be people who are strong on seizing. Mm. And I want to make sure that that's not my generation. Yes. I want to play my part. And as I thought and prayed about who should I be having the conversation with, it was really easy. And that's why I told you till I got a date. <laughs> it was easy to say, I want to do this with Joko Tade 100% on a mm. personal level. I'm very inspired by you. I mm. truly love your heart and mm. your work, your artistry, your excellence is commendable. What mm. would be your own remarks to some of the things that I have started to highlight about how we shift into breakthroughs and how we take what God is giving us and flip it into purposeful production, especially in this bold year? Mm. It, it, you know, for my audience, we shared with them that this year is our year of possibilities, which is literally the another way of saying exactly what you've just said. And I wish to begin by just sharing from my heart that I've come to realize that the possibilities are actually waiting on us. Do, 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 are, you, are you hearing me? So... You know, the possibilities that we're seeking, you know, we are going around, running around. No, possibilities waiting. When are you going to open me up? When are you going to unravel me? When are you going to switch on the button? When are you going to do something about it? I'm here already. And I often look at it this way. Let's if we go back to Genesis chapter one. Genesis chapter one, and I will do my very best to carry everyone along because I recognize that not everyone in this call may be a person of faith. So in Genesis chapter one, the scriptures record how the Lord God of heaven and the earth, how he created the entire universe, everything, like he created everything from day one all the way down. And then on day seven, he, he he was done and he rested on day seven. And that tells you and that tells me that everything we could ever need in life is already done. Does that make sense? Including what we are calling possibilities, okay? Including yeah. what we are calling yes, what we are calling, ah, oh, I, I desire to, I dream of doing this. I want to do this. I want to do that. Whatever it is that ought to be on the earth. For instance, I give this instance. I say the internet was there on day one or or it, it, di first week of creation. When God created the heavens and the earth, the internet was there. It was just waiting for humans to uncover the internet. Now we're shouting AI. AI was there at the very, there's nothing that is going to be created behind God. Does that make sense? It's already done. God is just allowing people. And we see it also, the wise man wrote about it. He said, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. It is the honor of kings to search it out. So the possibility, yes, yes. So the possibility that we are shouting, oh God, oh this, it's done. It's already done. The question is, is it on for you? Have you switched it on? Have you entered into it? Have you aligned with the possibility? Have you discovered your own AI? Have you discovered your own? What is your own? What is your own that God has created from the very first week of creation? So God is resting. God is, you know, he, scripture says he's re seventh day. He rested from his work. Meaning he, he dotted his eyes, crossed his T's. That is it. 
That is it, everything. Even from the beginning, the plan of salvation was already done. It was already done. So God is not going to do something new. You are the one saying, oh, oh God, oh, this. No, 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 it's done. So the very first mindset I want someone to embrace is it is done. It, it is, is done. done. It is done. That's the very first thing. Does that make sense? I'll let you comment on that. Let's let's just give them a little ice cream, just a little ice cream. Yes. <laughs> okay. Tell me, what are you hearing? Have you discovered your own AI? Have you aligned your own mm -hmm. possibility? Mm -hmm. And are you embracing this mindset? She says the fundamental mindset before we move yeah. on into anything with birthing yeah. possibilities is that it's already done it's nothing that is going to be done after god yes it's already behind done. Yeah. Behind yes him. yes yes lady j what a way to enter this conversation <laughs> what if i've lived my life in the absence of possibilities mm. what if i observe my progenitors and those who went before me struggling to just make you through life and having doors shut against them consistently, even when they try to go for gold with their own vision. What if I've heard more no's than I've heard yeses? You right. see, how do I come to this where beyond a mental understanding, it, it truly settles in my heart that it's done. And, and at the end of the day, there's nothing I'm chasing that, that isn't chasing me first. And that if he entered my heart is because there's likely a heavenly whisper announcing right. to me that this thing has got your name on it. Go for it. Right. Right. So, so let's talk about a baby. All right. I imagine there are mothers in the room. And if you're not a mother yet, you will be soon, Lord willing, if the Lord wills for you. And if that's your dream, because not everyone desires to be a mother. And I respect that. But let's talk a little bit about a baby. If you have a niece, nephew, little person around you, you will find that a baby has never walked before. A baby has never walked, meaning a baby has never been told yes before, meaning, oh, yes to walking. They don't even know what the concept of walking is. They've been carried for nine months. They've been carried all their lives from conception to wherever they are. And then all of a sudden, one day, a baby is just watching. How I, I believe that this is how a baby thinks that, oh, so this carry carry that they always carry me around, carry me around. There are people using the lower part of their of their body to move around in this place. And then a baby says, you know what? They start dragging themselves, okay? They start dragging, which we call crawling, right? They they they, they first of all they roll over and then they're like, ah, this thing, oh, you mean I can move then? And then after a while, a baby now sees that. You mean I can try to push up on my knees and then get up and then you find a baby stand and then they're, you know, they're, they're, they're tipping over they're They're doing this. Yeah. That is someone that has, that has been quote and unquote told no before they've been told no. So, but then they started to see that wait, oh, I don't have to wait for people to carry me. I can actually pull myself. So the person who has experienced several no's, in fact, I congratulate you. By just hearing these words, you are the baby that has never experienced walking before, but all of a sudden now, you can see on the skull, maybe it's the, DDK and I are the ones who are your adults, and you're seeing these people are using their feet. That means... It is possible for me to use my feet as well. So I think for the very first thing is look for people that is it's happening with, it's happening to, and say, you know what? It can happen for me as well. I can walk. Thank you, Lemuel. She's saying, yeah, I can walk. I can actually walk. So that's from mindset to, you know what? So mindset, like I can walk. And then the next thing is, let me pull myself up. So okay. I am that person. I am that person. I am the person, oh my gosh, that has experienced so many no's. In fact, no is, is even what I expect first. It's become a part of me to experience no. Like, okay, they're probably, in fact, I prepare myself for no, not in a saddest way, but that, okay, what do I shift to? If I receive a no, what's the next thing? What do I need to do next? Does that make sense? So many of us need to be like babies. We truly need to be like babies. Babies don't give up. As long as they're not facing, 
they're not facing any form of physical inability that is keeping them away from rising. A baby does not believe it cannot walk or he or she cannot walk. A baby doesn't. I'm telling you, a baby, a baby just sees people are moving. I can move. So that's the same. You hold on to it until one day you can start moving as well. So number one, here's my affirmation to the person who has suffered a lot of no's. You hardly experience possibilities. Believe, if you don't believe yourself, believe the testimony of somebody else and look at that person and say, if they can walk one day, I can walk. I think about my, my, my son. So my son, he's 16 now. Can you, can you imagine? He's like 6'3". Auntie Didike, stay there. Your son is bigger than you. You know, just stay there. However, I remember my son, he was so, he as a child, you know, when some of these children are walking at six months, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But some of these children that start to walk early, my son did not do that. He wasn't quick to, to in fact, I was sleeping one day in the living room. And then I think I opened my eyes briefly and I saw while nobody was watching him, he was practicing moving when in the absence of the of the vision of other people in the absence of the presence of others i saw him trying to pull himself which tells me he was afraid to walk does that make sense he didn't want to fall so when everybody wasn't watching he started trying and then one day we saw the boy just started walking so friends if you've been told no a lot and you are even afraid, there's room for you. You can practice in the absence of others. You can keep going in the absence of others and it will work for you. One day, you'll just find that you are walking again. So even doctors say it, if you're going to walk, it starts here. And then they start telling you, okay, move this hand, move a little bit. They'll say, carry it up a little. They'll say, stop. And then carry it a little bit. They'll say, stop. Even the doctors recognize that it's just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Let me tell you something else that I have found that works. I'm going to give, um, I'm a fashionable lady, like many of you in the room. And I think about, let's say you are a lady here. You've always dreamt of of maybe owning a Chanel handbag or something, right? Let's, let's be real. We've always dreamt of owning a Chanel handbag. And the Chanel handbag, I don't even know what it costs today, but I know the prices I've scaled. So it, it's over $5,000. At least at the time I bought mine, it was $5,000. So I imagine it's 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 over that now. And you're like, oh my gosh, it's over $5,000. Where am I going to get $5,000 from in this economy? Yeah? So what do, what do you do? What do you do? You don't have $10,000 right now or $8,000 or whatever it is. Go to, go online. Go and look for something. Start with a Chanel perfume or Chanel fragrance or a Chanel scent. At least that one is like $100. So the first thing, that's what I did. I remember I've always dreamt of this particular Chanel handbag. And so I went, I said, you know what? I'm going to start my Chanel collection with a, a scent or a fragrance. And I bought a, a fragrance. And then I said, you know what? Me too, I'm a Chanel girl. By just owning this fragrance, I'm a Chanel girl. Does that make sense? And from there, I started building my, and then all of a sudden it became possible for me that, you know what, this Chanel thing is possible. Does that make sense? It's possible. It's just what part of Chanel do you own? Okay, she, she owns the $8,000 bag. Me, I own the fragrance. Yeah, we're both Chanel girls now. Eh? When they want to count all of us, we're all Chanel. Do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody okay. said a Chanel yeah. picture. My point exactly. Lady, Lady Notch, thank you very much. My point the bottom line is when they are counting all Chanel girls, me too, I will be there. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So what is your own picture? What is it that you're seeing? What is it? Own a piece of it. Find a way to own a piece of it. I started buying my baby things before my baby got here. Do you understand? I wasn't a mother yet, but I invested in the little things, yes? And I and I said, you know what? I'm going to hold on to that. That could be someone's vision or someone's goal or someone's aspiration. And then you hold on to it. I know in our world today, some people, they do wedding gowns, they do something. Whatever it is, everybody has their own thing, but own a piece of your possibility. That's what I'm going to say. Own a piece of your possibility. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you dream of, building a tower, maybe a corporate tower, because I believe there are some heavy, heavyweight champions in this room. Let's say Didi K wishes to build 
a 16 floor tower on, on, on the island of Lagos. You know what Jokotade will do? I will go to Lagos Island and I would and I would take with me a cup and I would take a spoon of some sort or something and I would go there and pick up the sand and put it into a cup, create some form of decor piece and put it on my desk. I own a piece of Lagos Island. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Own a piece of your possibility. Put it there and say, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. And then as you see it every time, you'll be reminded I'm a part of this group. I'm a part of this possibility. And you'll find that it starts to it starts to grow. Some people say festa. It starts to grow. It starts to grow. And I'm going to get to some specific examples for me as we go along, but I'll pause for now. <laughs> I hear you with my inner ears. It's precious and I love it. You know, the point when, the moment when you started saying, Sometimes you have to do it in the absence of others. Absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes, because there, there's so much noise in the world today. Yes. And the reason people feel like their lives are not successful is because they're creating, you know, images of success drawn from other people's story. So yeah. everybody's living their lives literally out there and... People don't know how to even make a proper measurement of growth, that right. this is transformation. I'm right. making moves. Right. You see, it's not big and it's not out there yet, but my life is changing. My right. life is changing and it matters. And it matters that we hold that appreciation right. because many times if you're able to track where you're coming from, you right. might be able to extract wisdom that is right. unique own life's journey for where right. you can go right right Didi K, you you've gone where i was hoping we will save for for later but let's just go there can we go there okay yes so how does one i was thinking about it i was like it's only Didi K that will come ask me this big question because to me my life i'm just living my life right i've never really thought of what are the strategic things i've done so you inviting me made me sit down to think about how have things really happened for me. And I wish to share a few things. First, one of my mentors, uh, we call him PK, which is Pastor Kunle Soryo, and he's, he's in Texas here, and he's a futurist. And the other day he was talking about, he said he always inspires us and encourages us to not don't 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 write goals. He he doesn't believe in goals. He said dream. It tells us to dream, right? And I wish to share. I, I started thinking, I said, you know what? This is actually true. For me, I've never really been one of those bring write one million goals, you know, that's never really been me. I do write goals, but it's never been me. However, I wish to share that one thing that has been consistent in my life is dreaming. I am a dreamer. I am a dreamer. And I wish to break it down why the people on this call and in this video meeting, why you need to start dreaming more than making goals or creating goals or writing goals. Are you ready? Let me share it with you. So when you and I dream, when we sleep and we dream, right? What is it? Can anybody else be in there with us. As much as I love you, GDK, you are never in my dream, meaning you and I are not seeing the same thing. I dream, then I come tell you, oh, GDK, this is what I dreamt of, right? Okay. Dreams are personal. Dreams are holy. Dreams are, are, are unique. They're dynamic. They're, they're specific to a particular person. Likewise, what we call goals should be dreams instead. Because DDK, if I see you, maybe I see that you have 100,000 followers. I may set a goal and say, oh, I want, I wish to be, I wish to be like DDK, or I wish to be Joker Teddy, but I wish to have 100,000 followers like DDK. Now, the thing about a dream is a dream is an exchange. It's something only you and God see. 
Okay, I'm going somewhere with this. Only you and God see a dream, which means this message was sent to you. It was sent specifically to you, not to anybody. So if you are a person who dreams rather than writes a goal and all of that, then you know, this is the way I have been wired. This is the way I have been created. This is what has been presented to me. This is the way I've been given. A Mercedes Benz is a Mercedes Benz, okay? A Mercedes Benz cannot be a Toyota. It cannot be anything else. It was designed to be a Mercedes Benz. And I often teach others and I say, which one are you? Are you a Toyota? And, and this is not demeaning in any way, but are you a Toyota? Are you a Mercedes Benz? Are you a Rolls Royce? And all of that. Are you a Jeep? All right. Some of us, we've been designed, we've been given the dream of a Mercedes Benz. If you drive a Mercedes Benz like I do, it's a car for comfort. I told my husband, because I drive a lot, I said, only that. That one is non-negotiable because by the time I drive across Texas and all of that, the last thing that I want is to get out of my car. My body is aching me, all of that. No, we're, we're, that's non-negotiable. So I drive a Mercedes because it is comfortable. It is made for the driver. Everything is at the comfort of the driver. So some of us have been designed to be a Mercedes Benz, okay? Now, some of us have been designed to be a Jeep. We've, we're rugged. We climb mountains. We, you know, we, we go over dust. So if your own dream that they gave you is a Mercedes Benz and you're over there looking at the big tires of a Jeep, and you're like, you know me too, I want to know. You were designed for comfort. You were designed for ease. Allow those who have been designed to climb mountains, let them climb their mountain. That's their own dream. That's what has been given to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I will say first things first is know what you have been given. And that comes from your dreams. I Last time I was with you, I was asking the ladies, I said, and the gentlemen, I said, I said, are you able to articulate who you are in a sentence or what your dream is in a sentence? And for me, mine is from my childhood, I've dreamt of being an elegant and a wealthy, influential woman. One sentence, just one. That's my dream. So in setting what we call goals, anything that doesn't sort of align with that, it naturally falls off of me. Does that make sense what I mean? It naturally yes, falls. So, yeah. so when I'm setting, when I'm trying to do certain things, even with my business, the reason why people are like, oh my gosh, you know, we love the excellence. All I've been doing is I've been aligning myself with the dream that I've received. Everything about elegance is, is, is me. Do you understand? I don't have to force it. In fact, I don't have to go learn it. It comes from my inside. So why I am celebrated today is because I'm simply aligning the physical aspect of my life with my dream. So you're like, wow, she's just amazing. Oh my, no, I'm not doing anything amazing. Remember I started with it is done. I'm simply aligning myself with what has been done about me. I noticed that God wow. created me to not be a gra-gra person. I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do gra, gra You know, there's some people that like to associate with the rich. They like to kiss up. God didn't create me that way. The, the rich come to me and I started to pay attention. And that's another tip. Pay attention to your dream. You know, many times they say, write down your dreams. You know, they tell us that, right? Write down the dream of your life. That you at this stage in, my, in your life, you've got to know who you are. And even if you don't know who you are, start paying attention. Start paying attention. So, so, so Didike, let me tell you some of the things I started doing. When I noticed that, wait, whether I, I, even if I cough, there's something elegant about the way I cough. Ah, I said, okay, it looks like this elegant thing. They gave it to me from heaven. So yes. I started investing in education. DDK, I invested in knowing how to speak immensely well. I invested in knowing how to speak to a male audience, a female audience, an international audience, and all of that. Does that make sense? So all this, I started with all this, all this um like. So mm -mm, you'll find it here. <laughs> it's 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 the exception and not the norm for me. Because all I'm doing is I'm aligning my physical life with my dream, and my dream is what has been given to me. Does that make yeah. sense? You, yes, you, you get it. Mm? That's how you set goals. That is the better way. So I don't have to worry. If you go to my social media, my personal social media, in fact, DDK is trying to get me back on this. Sis, 
but she knows the value of who she has. So she's not worried. But the reality is if I'm looking at DDK, ah, DDK is like thousands of people need to, let me put it on my goal chart. That's mm. not necessary for me. That's not necessary for me. I find that God works with me with private connections. I'm, I'm a consultant to first ladies, to presidential candidates. I, I will never, you will never hear me mention the names of such people. I find that God brings them my way. If I keep aligning myself with who I am, they just come. Somehow they will just come. My mentors, I've never had to go seek them. They will just, something will happen somewhere. I just keep aligning myself and I will show up somewhere and they'll be like, ah, how can they, how can we let this elegantly dressed lady sit in the back? They'll carry me from the back, carry me all the way to the front because they, they said, this one looks like she should not be in the back. Do you see what I'm saying? I would go to places and those will just open for me. Why? I'm simply aligning with my dream. So what is your dream, dear friends? All this, all this running, you know, back and forth, going north and south is not the solution. The time is now for you to say, you know what? Just sit back. One day I sat back and I started to think, what, 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 what are you about, Chukutadi? What, what is you? What is you? Let me put it that way. What is you? What is you? Who are you? What is you? How did God create you? Well, how did he wire you? I remember in secondary school when I came to know the Lord and I became a follower of Christ and I started reading my Bible. I was so intrigued by the story of King Solomon. I was so impressed with the way he treated his staff and all of that, that the Queen of Sheba came. Now, DDK, several decades later, I am an international etiquette and protocol consultant. Do you see? Do you see? You see what I'm saying? You, do you see what I'm saying? So, so now you're like, ah, how can one person? You are this, you are that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I noticed that I am actually one of those jills of all trade. I just needed to figure out how and what it is. Let me let's let's drink water, TDK. You know it gets hot in our class. Let's just drink water. Uh, I'll pause there. Yes. <laughs> I could listen to you for a year. Oh, Lord, this is precious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of the visionaries in the room tonight were with me today, and we were just unpacking uh, the paradigms yeah. that shift to a bold year. Yeah. And I asked them to actually go back and excavate as well as investigate Yes. their origin, heritage, and roots. Thank you. As well as their personality and their soul signature. Thank you. And answers from who they are originally. Yes. And yeah, 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 it was it was really powerful. And I'm yes. hearing things tonight again that just feel like God is placing his finger on some things. Yes. You know, and it's a lot about it's got to be alignment before assignment. Yes. yes. Oh, alignment. Yes. Oh, yeah, I get you. And yeah. it's love. There's something you said, Lady J, that I want to sit into a bit more because we are days away from the close of applications for my 40 week uh, yes. coaching accelerator. And what we've done since 2021 is work with cohorts yes. of very inspiring, those we call high growth visionaries. They've got big ideas for fixing the continent across sectors. Yeah. And I would always say to myself that through this accelerator, in just one decade, I, I, I start to even believe it's going to be less than a decade, we're going to have the 1% of mm -hmm. Africa's young leaders on speed dial build mm -hmm. an ecosystem that will ultimately become a hub for right. the most powerful voices on the continent. Right. Because if you want to build Africa, you have to build those who will build her. And Absolutely. that's that's what we're on about. And then I heard you say from that moment that you said, look, I invested yes. in sharpening what yes. was given to me originally. What yes. is my original design? But I, I took it full. I yes. sharpened it. I yes. mastered how to present that gift, you know, to the the kind of audiences that I'm sent to. Yes. I am just curious at this point, what are your thoughts about the power of coaching, okay. the kind of 
investments that we ought to make if we want to stand before kings and not and not and not mere men. And how do how does a person ensure that they're not trapped into mm-hmm. believing that I would rather save my money and maybe put it into like a financial investment of mutual fund than I would actively investing in myself? Because I'm seeing that this is now a delimiter for some of the visionaries I'm interacting with, where mm-hmm. they're saying, I don't feel like I have enough yeah. to spare in investing in myself. But yeah. I'll be there saying you should prioritize investing in yourself because mm-hmm. if you become that leveraged asset, you're going to produce much more. So yeah. we have all these extraordinary visionaries already in uh, uh, Visionary Compass this year. We've got some maybe four or five more days to the end of the application. Uh, we even have people that have been able to get maybe a 30% scholarship ETC. But I still know people who ought to make this year their year of yes, work with a midwife, be in there 40 weeks, crack this result and make it work. But they'll say, I don't feel wealthy enough to do that. What I have, I'm saving it up you know, to do exactly what? How do you shift into the space where you treat yourself as an asset and you're willing to invest in the woman you're becoming? Absolutely. In fact, I I like to say that in the presence of kings is not when you train to know how to serve a king, right? Many many of us are waiting, you know, God, please just give me the opportunity to get before kings. And, and you know, God is a father. He's not a magician that many of us try to. He's not, he's not a punch card. He's not a wish granter. No, he's a father. And no parent will toss their child to, or, you know, maybe to, I don't know, grade four, if they've not even made it through nursery school, right? They know that they're setting up that child for failure, right? So if you wish to serve kings, I always say this all the time. I think I've said it here before, visionary campus, but if you're going to serve kings, you must know how to serve kings. If you want to be friends with kings, you must know how kings operate, how they think, and all of that. Now, the only people that can equip you to appear before a king is those who are in the presence of kings. They know the rules, they know the etiquette, they know the protocol. So in the in the days of of Her Majesty the Queen, uh, may her soul rest in peace, in those days, in those days, if if, if they say you're you're going to appear before the queen, they'll prep you. (laughs) They'll prep you because the last thing that they want is for you to show up before the queen, waste her time, insult her presence. They don't want you to do that. So if you're a person or you're saying, God, I want to do big things, I want to do that, there are a few ways you can get there. You can drag your feet there. You can fumble your way there. It will take a long time to get there, likely. You Or you can be guided. There's an old timeless story of Esther and how she was prepped to even appear. The, the, the king had not picked her to be yeah. king to even appear, all right? So in the day, there's ancient wisdom, meaning there's certain wisdom that God has allowed to be on this earth that are proven true. And that's where Esther was coached. She was coached. Ruth, in the in the story of Ruth and Naomi, Ruth was coached. Does that make sense? Oh, Ruth yeah. was coached, all right? Ruth was coached. So there is a place for coaching. Now, some people struggle with, you know, all these coaches, all of that. Coaching is a waste of time. The the challenge with, with it is you will never know how much you're missing out. So for instance, I've worked in the etiquette and protocol space up, alongside my creative work. God has given me grace to serve a lot of kings. I'm not kidding. I've I've produced some work for certain people, I'm not even allowed to mention their names. And I mean, I'm talking about $40,000 projects for certain royal families or and all of that. And while my, my talent helped me to present my value and all of that, one of the reasons they chose to work with me was I knew how to operate with them. 
And so that was me fumbling my way. Now, I was very dedicated to improving myself and learning and all of that on, on my own. However, however, by reading people's books, I was gaining coaching. Be do you see what I'm saying? By reading people's books, yeah. I was gaining coaching. Now, about last year or so, it occurred to me that I've always dreamt of certifying this body of knowledge that I have acquired over decades. So in other words, you can say, oh, she's a professional etiquette, pro etiquette protocol person, but you, I cannot use the word certified. Does that make sense? I cannot use the word, even though I have the vast experience. So last year, I just, I just said, you know what? I'm unable to go to Switzerland, but let me find another program that will certify this body of knowledge and experience that I have. And so I found an international program and dedicate, you know, after all this, I humbled myself and I went and I, and I went to get my certification. So now when the world is seeking a few internationally certified etiquette and protocol people that are not just teaching people the things they read from YouTube. I am now in another echelon. Does that make sense? And let me tell you something that happened. While I was studying and reviewing, I kept saying, Father, thank you for allowing me to do this course. I'm telling you, because DDK, I now realized, though I knew so much, there was still so much I did not know. <laughs> so much. And let me tell you something. Guess what? Even in my local space, if when I walk into an event, once they know that I'm there, if there is a certain person of digni dignity or, or a certain person of office and they know I'm present, guess who they come to? Ah, you know, Joko Tade is here. She'll be able to guide us on the right thing to do. We'll be able to know. And then not only that, in my business, it has taken the quality, the caliber of clients that I serve, because they always tell me, they're like, you are just like, they, they ask me like, you, you know how to speak to people. Look at the way I'm speaking to you today. I'm speaking with so much regard, so much respect for the audience to understand, because I'm, I'm going to break some tables. When I started investing in a lot more trainings of this matter or coaching of this matter, I noticed that the, Afri the average African acquires this nature of being very demeaning and speaking down at people, all right? We speak down at people. We speak down at people. We don't speak with people. We're not very mindful of the way we speak. We have this air of, we're better than you. We're Africans, we're Nigerians or wherever you're from, friends. In my case, Nigeria, you know? And so we're often carrying this air. I had to go learn how to speak, how to, some pastors with due respect, speak down at God's sheep because they're the pastors. I've learned you don't speak down at sheep. That was a whole training I did. You don't speak, sheep is gentle. Sheep, they're not goats, okay? So you speak with sheep with the with the gentility that they, their nature was primed for. Do you understand? So you don't speak down at God's people. You don't talk carelessly to sheep. You carry sheep. You tender sheep. Do you understand what I'm saying? I had to learn that. It was while I was in that coaching, I noticed I didn't even know that I had acquired such behaviors. Do you understand? And God wanted me to get rid of all of that so that I can go to these international places and not go embarrass him. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? So that is yes. the role of coaching. That is, you will never know what you don't know until you are coached. I'm telling uh, you. Uh, uh, okay. You will never know what you don't know until you are coached. I'm telling you, as I'm in this call, I'm coaching some women already. They're like, okay, let me see. See the way she's talking. No, He's, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, I didn't even know that a woman could speak. See the way she's speaking. Ah, is this, in fact, some, some people will be saying, is packaging. It's not packaging. This is the way okay. I am. It's, yes. it's not packaging. Yes. It's become second nature. To me, if you catch me on any stage, I speak with regard to people. I care. I express heart, empathy. And that leads me to something else. Another, another strategy, another paradigm that we need to embrace. If you want to accomplish your goals, apart from your dream, there are two things I'm skipping. We'll come back to those. But if you want to accomplish, at the top of that paradigm is the dream. And at the bottom is people. DDK, do you know that people of African descent, we, especially people of faith, especially people of faith, we are 
we are the group that is amongst people the most and we don't love people. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are a people that do not love people. We gather with people. We worship with people. We do so many things with people, yet we do not love people. Oh, yes. Why do you Many of us don't have empathy in our hearts. Just, just the way we speak, the way we even, even comments, even comments on social media. I'm very careful, DDK. I'm very careful. I have, God has helped me to grow in empathy. I have empathy in your heart for people. And it starts with, with maybe if you have some form of domestic assistance at home, your help. I get it. Oh, they say, if you talk to them nicely, they will take you for granted. But that's the thing, though. That's the thing. You're not, if, if, they, if they're going to take you for granted, whether you're kind to them or you're not kind, they will take you for granted. If they're going to, if they're going to cause you harm, they will do it regardless of whether. So why don't you choose to be the one, I'm going to be, be gracious yet check on what they're doing. Be kind, yet keep an eye. Have, still have the security cameras up to check on them. That, you know, you can still be that. But it's so critical that if you're going to go places, be someone that has empathy in your heart for people. The way we judge is a test. When something happens, are you quick to say, mm -hmm, I knew it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I knew it, I, I, I knew it. That, that's someone that doesn't have empathy. That's someone that doesn't have empathy. Or you always think it's the negative first rather than the positive why can't it be that that is the reality? Believe people until they give you a, rea a, a reason to not believe them. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So so you want to, you, you are over here, you, you are in DDK's session, you want to go places. Guess what? God is watching. Look at the person that wants to go places yet oh. does not know. We, we often think that going places, accomplishing goals has to do with us. No. Ultimately, it has to do with people. It actually does have to do with people, right? So, so friends, if we're going to go places, right? If we're going to experience possibilities, this yes that we're talking about, dream, but be mindful of people. Be very mindful of people. Let me give you something that happened. I've been seeking some funding to scale my business to even another level. And I tried all the powerhouses, ZDK. Hey, all the, you know, apply here, do this. I did yes. it. I yes. did it. All my, uh, my you know, I, I, in fact, Madame No was my name. Oh, it came back. No, no, this. DDK, you've seen my brand presentation. You've seen the level. So, you know, my application is not going to be Nambi exactly. Nambi. I did everything. Pro what? Production, I was sure of it. I had dotted my eyes, crossed my teeth. DDK came back. They said, no. So I was now thinking, I said, ah, maybe my, my application was even too good. They said, this one does not need help. Maybe. Now, guess where I finally got some funding from? One of the girls that works for me, actually two of the girls, that were there, one of the girls that works for me, they always go back home to tell their, their mom how, how I take care of them and how I love them. And I just mentioned casually, to this girl in my office. I said, oh, that, you know, I'm seeking funding to get to her. You know, she went home to tell her mom, DDK, do you know that that woman rose up and gathered that money? The girl what that... Mean? Okay, <laughs> DDK, let me break it down. The girl that works for me, okay? She, she is my servant, so to speak, right? Every, she goes back home every time to tell her family how I care for her, what I do, how I don't treat her anyhow. So when I was selling her some company goals, this is what we're trying to do and all, she went back home to mention it and have that her mom rose up and said, I will find, I will gather that money for what you all need. When I, when the lady came and I asked her that, how, how does this even add up? She said to me, she said, thank you for taking care of my baby. She said, that is the reason why. Yes. Do, are you listening? So listen, How? what does people have to do with goals? Maybe I'm the one that has, I have a goal. I'm trying to scale, right? But you won't think people, right? Do you see what I'm saying? You won't think people. But because of the way I treated her daughter, she said, I will gather this money and I will give this woman this money because of the way she has taken care of me. I've never heard of it before in my life. 
DDK, I said forever and ever, I will take wow. it. So what is your goal? What is your goal? Now, in, even this girl said to me, she said, she said, I didn't know my mommy has this kind of money. That's what she said to me. She said, I did not know my mommy has this kind of money. So friends, you want to, you're setting a goal. You cannot set a goal apart from people. It doesn't work that way. God loves people so Good. much. He gave up his son, his only son for people. That is how valuable people are. And, and all of us are here shouting, you can shout from now till kingdom come, be brave. If in your heart you don't love people, thus far you will go in life. I'm, I'm not kidding. You have to love people. You have to be a kind person. You've got to love people. Pay attention to people around you. Do you understand? Your goal must include people. What is the need for people? This skyscraper you want to build, what is the need for people? This me, 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 I, myself, I, what? It's not, thus far you will go. Yes, you'll go far, maybe, but here. But heaven will look down and say, mm, we can't really trust her with people. So this is what we will give him. This is what we will give her. But look at the Lord Jesus. In the span of three and a half years or so, scholars estimate, in a span of that, look at his impact on people. So how do we do these things? Pay attention to people. Give people your audience. Give to people. The obvious, that's the obvious. But give people attention. Make people feel the way I'm making you feel today which is you are relevant, you are oh. important. Make people feel that is yeah. all of a sudden, heaven will just start aligning things for you. My sister, at the and beginning of this week or at the beginning of that week, when I was trying to get to this financial target to scale my business, I was wailing before God. All I kept saying, Lord, please help me. I have nobody else that can help me. Nobody else, but God raised people for me to accomplish yeah. Do you understand? So your people might be DDK. If you're in the session, your person to help move you to that next level might be DDK. But you're over there, you're wondering, give up. What do you have to give up if it were me? And I was applying and I saw DDK and, I, and, and it's burning within me. This is what you need to do next. This is what you do, need to do next. If I have to show up at DDK's office and say, DDK, I only have this amount, but I will sweep your office. I will do that. Is that is somebody that is saying, I am here for this. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, DDK did say it, said the fire is the sign, but where will the fire lead you? Where will it lead you? What will it cause you to do? Some of us are sitting on our fire at home. You have fire, but you're not doing anything about it. You have fire. So I had the fire for that certification all these years, but I had to go online to go and research the prestigious program. Does that make sense? To Didike, I'm not kidding. On my financial budget, I did not have the money for that certification. In fact, I just said, let me just, let me, let me, let me just submit the application. Ah, so after they read my experience, the rate at which they responded to me, I say, hey, I don't have the money. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't have the money. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have the money. So, so friends, so friends, there is no goal without a dream. And there's no dream. There's no proper execution of a dream without people. Plan for people. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my heart. Uh, we should be doing this, Lady J. Let's just sit and speak for hours. Please. Done. Let's do Done. it. Let's do Let's it. it. Guys, we are a few days out, closing completely on Visionary Compass Accelerator Program 2024. The fire is the sign. And like Lady J is asking, where is the fire going to lead you? Go ahead and put in a stunning application and get yourself into this ecosystem that changes the game for you. Um, and we're the people for your dream. 100%, we want a midwife what you carry into the next level. Lady J, as we close out, I have one question that has a baby or two insight, and I, I just want to hear you out on this one. Now, there's a way that I could listen to you, and it's just so, there's a sweetness, there's a gentleness, <laughs> but the caliber of things you are birthing are not gentle. 
you've broken through a very distinguished, exclusive, elite space, serving a certain caliber of people with resources that empower them to plan, organize their lives, and express their elegance. You are an African woman in the United States, and you are you are the preferred, you know, um, person and organization for certain caliber of people, and it's is outstanding, is remarkable, you know. So talk to me about. I mean, you when I when you gave me the precious privilege of a virtual tour of your office and where you have the you know the uh, the warehouse where you're showcasing these things. I'm like, how are you in this kind of massive space? What is going on? How do you even have this kind of property in the U.S.? Right. So what was that journey looked like? Mm. That path of audacity. How have you did the big things that you did? What's mm. caused to take your art and believe it's iconic enough to serve the cream de la cream, the, right. the finest, you know, 1%, the leaders. And what keeps you going? I mean, manufacturing is just, in a different grade yes. of yes. yes. Like it's really separate. You yes. can't just wake up and say, hey, good morning. This is me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a product, right. you know, right. what's journey been like. And if there's a person who's saying, I want to dare bigger things because I've seen a distinct vision God is giving me, um, but I'm afraid or I feel unqualified, you know, or I need specific strategies to scale that work this year. What would you say to them? Very well. If you are someone like me, or regardless of your field, the truth is none of us are qualified for anything. None of us. Even the great people that we see, many times they're not qualified. You know, there was a time that Elon Musk started talking about, oh, electric car. I'm sure people were looking at him like, what are you talking about? So in oil and gas, in an oil and gas. But now they're not laughing at him, right? So how does a person pursue this path, this unique path for them? I, I wish to be very practical as much as I can, friends. So when I was a child, I went to my mom. My mom was a traveling nurse and she would, whenever she traveled, she would come back with a Vogue magazine for my aunt who was in vocational school to become a fashion designer. And so I was so intrigued by Vogue magazine as a child, I must have been under 10. And imagine my aunt, she would be guarding the magazine from me. I said, ah, magazine that my mommy bought for you. She would say, don't touch it. You know, children, don't touch it. You don't want me to rip it. And so one day I summed up the courage and I went to my mom. I did not know at the time that this was an error. <laughs> I went to my mother and I said to my mother at, yeah, under 10. I said, mommy, I know what I want to be when I grow up. She said, what? I said, fashion designer. She said, eh? Which fashion design? She said, you will go to school first. And then when you are finished, then you can do. Because in those days, you know, fashion design is not fashion design as we know it today. It was tailoring, <laughs> for lack of a better term, right? It's prestigious now to be a fashion designer. However, I did not know that I was speaking from my dream, from my wiring, right? So I did go to school. I started out as pre-med. And after a while, I noticed that I don't really think I'm caught up for this pre thing because my dad, my dad was, was a surgeon. And so I wanted to be like my dad. I would work really hard, study, study, okay, study to pass my chemistry and all of that. But I had to work so hard, did it gay? But I would still get the A, but I worked so hard. And then one day, some, some children or some other students were talking about this degree, computer information systems, so there was a business degree. And my soul and my spirit leaped at the idea. So I went to switch my career or my path without telling anybody. I switched, all right? And once I switched DDK, it was day and night for me. There were some classes that I didn't even have to study. I would just do well, okay? Hold that thought. I think I've shared it here before, I'm not sure. When I was in Federal Government College at Janiki, my GNC teacher, Mr. Fashino, I don't know if he's still alive now, 
But when they did my aptitude test, he said to me, he said, Vivian, your aptitude test shows that if you go for social sciences, you will do, you scored the highest in the social sciences. However, you did rack in a lot of A's in your WAEC. I said, Mr. Vashino, who will I go back home and tell I'm going to social sciences when there's science? So I, mm. I set a goal. You see what I'm telling you about this goal and dream thing? I set a goal. Let me go to sciences where the children that have A's, I want it to be, the. this is what the children that have all these A's, this is where they go. Rather than the Lord God of us has wired me. The coach told me, go this way. I said, no, sir, I'm not going that way. I'm going with my goal. You see, you see, you see, you see what we're talking about here? So I ended up in sciences. I carried the sciences through senior, did WIAC, got to the United States, started with pre-med. So now let's bring all the stories together. So when I switched to the College of Business, it was, it, it was just a breeze for me. In fact, I remember some of my professors saying, Vivian, you're so great at this that I sometimes I wish you just did the entire presentation and all of that. So when I finished from college and I started all these my little businesses here and there, from that time on until now, it's still this business that I am doing today. Okay. Mm -hmm. And along the way, I noticed something. Number one, Stop talking to people who don't understand the way you are wired. So I started, God gave me this dome to see. You are not wired like everybody. You are indeed a jack of all trade, master of all. And oh. then as a woman of faith, I found myself in the scriptures. Yes, I found myself in the scriptures. And I've shared it with you all before where I saw that with so one person can have one million or, you know, that's an exaggeration, but all of these talents, and they just needed to figure out how to use it. So DDK, part of my path has been quiet. I've shared it with you all today. The story is, is not going to change. Quiet. So DDK, I don't join noisemakers about my own life. I don't engage with people and have a conference about my life. I don't do it. So when it became something in my you know, I also told you all, own a, own a piece of your possibility. Many years ago, here in the United States, when I was trying to get into stocks and bonds and all of that, when everybody was buying oil and gas technology, guess what your darling sister bought? I bought stocks in Kate Spade because I understood it. It came natural to me. I'm not kidding. I bought stocks in Kate Spade. This, I was nothing like Nautique. Kate Spade, for some people who may not be familiar, is an accessory fashion brand. Well, they, they are a fashion brand. And so I also loved another brand that is no longer here now, Henry Bendel. And I, I just used to find so much joy and pleasure. I would go to Henry Bendel and all of that. Such a unique niche brand. I did not know I was owning a piece of my possibility. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Now, if I was talking to people, everybody would be telling me, but you only buy a Chanel. You only buy Gucci. Those are the ones people recognize. The one that they wired me and guided me to was buy Kate Spade. By Henry Bendel. Now, my current brand, Nautique, is literally a premium brand in that space where my clients, they carry their Louis Vuitton with my, with my Nautique and they combine it together, which is exactly where I needed to be. I want, I've always dreamt of being. Does that make sense? And we're still going, we're still going to go privé, Lord willing. But my point is that I don't engage with people about me. So DDK, if you're asking me to tell you what 12 steps I've done, DDK, I zipped my mouth, I got quiet, and every day I wake up, I just follow what God has put inside of me. Because I don't talk to a lot of people about my possibilities and what I dream of, I'm able to hear more. You know, if you've had a dream, if you keep quiet and spend time thinking on it, you notice maybe This is so good. Wow. This is so good. Okay, now, please let me know if you can hear and see me. I just want to get a sense of uh, what the network is looking like. Can you hear and see me? Okay, you can. Oh, gosh. I'm actually cold all over. 
because I didn't know we were just going to go from zero to hero like this, dive so deep, go so spiritual, like enter into depths of almost like the secrets that you many, many times um, can't read or hear as steps and practical ways to do stuff, but the exact thing you need to be able to just frame a life of possibilities. And you know why possibilities matter? Because each of us are generational brokers. And I was still saying that earlier today, we're generational brokers and we are, we are brokering leverage for our lineage. You're brokering leverage for your lineage. So going on the path of purpose is not herd mentality. It's not everybody is doing something. So try to do something to know. It's to become a person worth becoming so that you can leave a legacy for your lineage, for generations. You see, this is powerful. And I was also sharing that it's got to be your desire, even if a wealthy, if you didn't come from a wealthy family, you want a wealthy family to come from you. And I'm not talking money alone. You see this, but you have to create leverage for those coming after. And that is why you must be intentional about putting your hands to the plow. You have to be intentional about devoting yourself to master craftsmanship, to really being so good that you can't be ignored. And if there's a dream that burns in your heart, don't leave it as a dream. Give it expression. Let it flow this year, especially because God has said to us, it's a bold year. And there is actually a framework that can make you lead that bold life, achieve that great dream that is put in your heart. And every time you go on the path of your vision and your dream, what you're also doing is you're giving a whole generation license to do the same because there are those who are connected to what you've been giving. You know, imagine if I didn't, if I didn't rise, imagine if I didn't step out to do what is, what I've been giving to do. Imagine if I was living with my fears and we all have those doubts. You see this. And so, because I have seen the power of living my life with a determination to birth and to build the assignment I've been giving, I want to make that happen for many others. And it's again a special opportunity for you to take action on Visionary Compass Accelerator Program. Jump right on board. This is the perfect weekend. I think, Mrs. Notch, applications are sweet in the weekends, isn't it? You just stay away from work and distractions and you crack down, get it going, you know, submit it. In fact, you would find it inspiring, the process it takes to unbundle that vision. And I've got my sister back in, quite excited to do this with you. Mm. You <laughs> stopped hearing you at the point when you were saying, look, if you're a person who learns to be quiet, yeah. you would hear your, you hear the dreams clearer, and Absolutely. you would. Yes. Absolutely, and my sincere apologies. I think they're doing some work in the area that could have triggered my connection to go out, but you did capture it really well. That if you are that person and you you want to accomplish big things, and and DDK, I have given you a tour. If at one maybe one day we'll do a tour with with the group because you have to see it and you 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 just wonder frankly I didn't I don't even think I realized what was ahead for me remember I told you at the beginning remember what what did I say from the very beginning you have to believe that it is done you are just aligning yourself and all of that so I couldn't have imagined it so all I've been doing DDK every every day I wake up it's I form, I just walk in this partnership with the one who created me. I told you, I've identified I'm a Mercedes Benz, yes, <laughs> so to speak. So how am I wired? What am I wired for? And all of that. And DDK, I'm not kidding. Every day I wake up, I make a deposit towards aligning myself with what's on my inside. And then I do it because the grace has already been made available, because I'm aligning with what has already been done. And then it becomes like, 
Oh my gosh. So I know people are really like, oh my God, this is really amazing. To me, I'm just thinking, I'm just living my life. I'm just doing, in fact, I don't even think I'm there yet. Yes. I'm just doing what has been put on my inside. So one of the secrets of life is quiet. The quiet is not for us to be trampled over. It's for us to hear our manual. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's for you to hear your manual. If you're not quiet, you will not know if God is telling you, take this DDK program. You will know it. You will not know because we don't want you to take DDK's program if you're not aligned for it. If that's not what... They, yes. This is not about getting 1 million people, then 1 million people will do the program, then they'll be upset with DDK. No, no, no. We don't want that. We want those who have been given the dream and we are, we have positioned ourselves to be the ones we're going to help you al walk in the dream oh. you have been given that is only when oh, we wow. are successful i agree to join this call because i believe that there are people in this audience that are part of the dream that god has given to me to serve it's not every conference not everything i take on it's not everything i'm being honest with you I, I don't do it. I don't, because I'm not going to go there and they didn't give me grace. There's no grace supporting me, backing me. No, no, no. Or I'll go there, they'll oh. say, what's wrong with this one? Wait, she thought, no, 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 I'm, uh, no. Mm -mm. But I'm here. It's clear you value the way I'm speaking. You value the content. Why? I'm just following my dream. So guess what you all are going to do? Hey, you're going to go, hey, this lady, Jokotade. Do you know this lady, Jokotade? So now you are the one shouting about it. The lady is just living her dream. That's it. Do you see how these things amplify? Yes. Didike, I want to leave one more thing for someone here about strategy. So I've, leave, I've left with you, number one, dream. All right, dream. Number two, so on one end, everyone, say one end is dream. The other end is people. So hands up, everyone. One end is dream. One end is people. Do you understand? So you start with your dream and you end with people. Do you understand? Left hand, dream. Right hand, people. So if you are someone that there's no people in your vocabulary or your space, you see that you're incomplete. You're not going to be able to move like that. Okay. Now, in between, the second thing after dream is quiet. Quiet. Become, become a master of the life God has given to you. Now, I'm not saying be Lord. I'm not saying be Lord. Okay. For me, Jesus is Lord. Okay. But mastery is... I know this is what works for me. I know myself very well. I've shared with you all in this room before. I don't wait for people to tell me what you did. I tell myself, DDK. I tell myself. Because if I wait for you to tell me, number one, you may never tell me. You would you allow me to fall into error. You know, those people that say, oh, you did great. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. I DDK, I know... I know the things leaving this call. I know the things I'm going to improve on. I will not wait for you to tell me. I know how I'm going to align myself with my dream. Do you understand? I don't wait. Don't wait for your husband to tell you. He may never tell you. Don't wait for your children. They may never tell you. They will never. Some people never tell you. So that's number two. So quiet allows you to hear, you hear, you hear, you hear, you hear, you hear. Some of us are not hearing, DDK. Oh, I'm so frustrated. You can hear, you are enjoying me today because you are like, wow, this woman, this is a woman that God has taught to hear, to hear. There's room in my life for God to pour into me. There's room in, there's space, there's, there's space for God, there's space, right? So, so DDK, I know the day God will say, oh, you're going to take DDK's program. I'm, I'm, I'm going to listen for that day. I'm not going to be looking at DDK's face, whether she's looking at sis, okay. It's not about DDK, it's about what aligns. To, are you listening to what I'm saying? There was one day, DDK, uh, okay, for those of us who are on stage, I noticed something. I never told her. Coach, the day she coached me, she was speaking at an event and I watched the clip and I noticed that DDK, somewhere in between all of her technology and her devices on the podium, she had one very discretionary fan on her stage. I say, wait a minute. Why haven't I ever thought about this? So I just wonder the makeup is always on fleek in Nigeria, in Lagos. Ah, I noted it. So one day my husband came home 
And he brought, he said, oh, is, is this going to be useful? I said, it's going to be useful. I've seen my coach. I've seen my sister. She has done it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just a little flick. I say, so this is, I say, me too. When I'm going on stage, I have one, one nice secret fan there. You know, I'll just be, the glow will just be glowing. Just stay. That's so Thing, right do you understand what i'm saying so anyway and then the last thing i wish to leave with you so there's dream quiet and then skill skill, skill. Mm. if you're going to achieve your goals some shifting some mind-blowing goals mm, turn on all your skills mm. turn it turn all of them on on turn all of them are you listening to what i'm saying now here, here is how I carry, I put skill into groups. Some of us have the skill of mouth. So you use your mouth. That's a skill, right? Mrs. Mrs. Notch. Yeah, the, the Mrs. Notches of this, your skill, right? You turn it on. Turn it on. Some of us have the skill of hands. Whatever, whatever you do with your hands, you can, you can, you can do things, you can cook, you can make, you can, yes. Some of us have the gift of heart, all right? The heart, you feel, you know how to feel, you can feel, yeah? Some of us have the gift of legs, we can move, you can, ah, you can move, you can do, yeah? Turn on everything. So with me, Jokotade, I turned on, Didike, that website, that notic.com that you are looking at, I did it with my hands. I have the gift of hands. Are you listening? I, I know you are, you are stunned. I'm not kidding. I built that site. With, I maintain my website until I'm able to scale the brand to a particular point where I, I can start hiring. Because for where I want to get to, if I hire somebody for everything, DDK, I will not have the resources to get me to where I need to get to. So I recognize that God has given me so many gifts. So the reason he gave me so many gifts is so that I can switch it on to align with my dream and I can achieve big things. So while my peers are looking for $30,000 for somebody to build their website, I, I sat down there. That's how I became website guru. In fact, I even took a class. You see what we're talking about, coach? I took a class many years ago in college on HTML when the internet was first released, right? And we were learning HTML 1.0. I took that course then, which became a basic foundation for me. So I kept up with it. I worked with it. I designed websites for others. And so when I needed to do my own global brand, guess who's, because if I hire somebody, they won't do it to align with my dream the way I would want to. So GDK, that website that the whole world, that. In fact, if I tell you the kind of people that shop there, I did it by the grace of God. Why? Because God has given me the skills. He knew I would need it. Some of us have the gift of eyes. You can see your taste is impeccable. You know how to put things together with your eyes. You know what's good. This should be here. This should not be here. This should this. That's the gift of eyes. Turn it on. So I have the gift of eyes. I've got discerning taste, discerning taste. I'm one of those people that if you want me to critique your movie, I will catch something. I will tell you uh, there's no continuity here. There's getting gone something. I will tell you, I have the gift of eyes. Do you understand? I have the gift of ears too. Some of us have the gift of ears. Turn everything on. Keep your ears out. So you're always informed. There are people, they're always informed. Turn everything on to align with your goals and your visions to Get you to where you need to be. Are you listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth? Yes? Turn your skill. So those are my four strategic things. I dream. I practice quiet. I use every God-given skill. And I love people. That is it. Those. That is it. I try, DDK. I try to package it for you. DDK, collect, collect our money from all these people listening to these things today. <laughs> collect our money. That is it. I don't have one 25 uh, step. No, this is it. Wake me up tomorrow. This is what I'm doing. Wake me up next year by the grace of God. That is what I'm doing. Yes, ladies, gentlemen. Yes, mommies and daddies. I hope with these few words of mine, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you that it is done. I'm done. <laughs> uh, like, who is this woman? What is going on? Oh, gosh. Let me tell you the crowning moment for me tonight. And so many things, so many things are really remarkable. 
But the crowning moment for me tonight is really when you started to talk about quiet. I have a whole course called the Eden Lifestyle and how to really practice a bath continually, intentionally. I think is everything because only those who hear can actually enter, you know, into what is already designed, into what is already done, you know. And then, yes, you're multi-gifted. <laughs> you're multi-gifted. And to see you put it all to use and to say, look, you've given us permission. If you have many sides to you, turn them on. Can we love on Lady VJ tonight? It's been extraordinary. She's made room to share what's working for her. And we had some people like putting their hands on their head. I can see their videos because exactly these things we were exploring today. But you brought language that is healing, that is, you know, very peaceful, and it's altogether powerful. And we also got that, that sense that we can do these things. You know, we can live this way. We can design our bedazzled life without running after the crowd. This has been extraordinary. And I'm truly thankful to you, my beloved sister, friend, all-round inspiration, super elegant woman. And I can't wait to spend time with you in April in Houston. Thank you so kindly, everyone. Let Vijay know how we're feeling about her tonight and how we're grateful for this session. We're moving right on into our um, peach contest. We've got seven extraordinary visionaries tonight who are going to spend five minutes selling their bold ideas to us or, or selling or sharing their bold uh, 2024 vision with us. I'll pass, pass it, it on, on to, to Mrs. Mrs. Nudge. Nudge. We, we hear, hear from, from her, her and we, and dive, we dive right into this contest. If you've got friends and you feel like, hey, I'm here to stand with my friend, here to stand with a vision I believe in, and I'm going to be voting at the end. Hang around, and we actually have a gift for you at the very end. So those who stay till the end, I'm going to be announcing a special gift for you tonight. Mrs. Notch, over to you. Gosh, thank you so much, DDK and Lady VJ. I'm honestly trying to recover from all that I just heard. On, on a normal day, DDK is phenomenal. And then you take that day Pro Max by adding VJ into the mix. What do you have? A combustion. It has absolutely been explosive. You went from zero to 100 real quick. Thank you so much for sharing so kindly with us, Lady VJ. And, and just so you know, in case you're wondering how I speak like this, you are actually one of my major inspirations. First time I heard you speak, I said, I want to speak like that. I don't scatter my hands when I speak. I sit up straight. All of these things. I learn refinement from you. I'm an autista, <laughs> an unrepentant autista. And I didn't know that I was owning a piece of my possibilities. So when you started speaking, I thought, my goodness, I have them here, my affirmations, my code of elegance. I have a whole suite of my notique stuff. I can't wait to receive my equip hat boxes like Thank you so much, Lady VJ. You have no idea how amazing this has been for us. So friends, visionaries, you came here to learn the art of brutal execution. And she has taught us that it starts with your dream. You need quiet as the vehicle to unpack your manual from God as you were originally designed. And then you need people to bring that to pass. You have to learn to manage, lead, serve people, especially kings. And I love the way she emphasized the role of coaching. You don't know what you don't know until you get coached. So you need VCAP to help you unpack your bold moves, your bold next level. You can't figure it out on your own. That's the truth. DDK still gets coached. Lady VJ still gets coached. Even Jesus was coached and mentored. So who are we? not to subscribe to the right coaching system. And VCAP has all of these things to build your skills. That was where she ended it, skills. You have to sharpen that skill. 
turn on all your gifts and you need midwives, you need a system. VCAP is fully equipped with everything you need. If you're wondering how to get into VCAP, where will your fire lead you tonight? Let it lead you to myvisionarycompass.com. Please apply for VCAP. We're waiting for your application. We have a jury waiting to read your bold vision. We have people about to pitch their bold vision to us tonight. Don't be a spectator. Don't sit on your fire. She literally said that. Don't sit on your fire. Don't say, my heart is burning. Thank you, Vij Lady VJ. Thank you, DDK. I'm so blessed. I'm elevated. Okay, then what? <laughs> what are you going to do next? You got to get into VCAP and let your skill be sharpened. If there's anything I know, it is that VCAP understands the language of vision completely. VCAP understands how to help you unpack that vision and how you will execute it. The execution blueprint is there for you. All of these things that you need, the skills you need, website, branding, all of these fancy things that Lady Vijay said. Look at her beautiful website. I could have sworn that there's a consultant behind that website. Literally, if it was a who wants to be a millionaire question, I would have failed it gallantly because I would not have selected her. <laughs> as the web developer and even ddk maintains her websites to herself hello <laughs> you need to see her at work so come and learn the language of vision in visionary compass uh i'm gonna bring up um oh no it's ddk now who's gonna bring up our pitch contestants to just give us their bold vision and we get the opportunity the rare privilege to be the jury we're working for dr newton tonight <laughs> and we're gonna decide who wins the pitch contest? Over to you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Oh, DDK says go for it. Well, here we are. Uh, we have seven finalists who have been shortlisted to give us their bold vision tonight. And if you are in the room, I'd like you to please put your video on because we'll be calling on you shortly, starting with Moni Barua. So Moni, if you're here, where are you? I see some other people. I see Maury. I see Deborah. But it's more Moni's turn yet, uh, right now. And if she's available, we're going to take her. I don't see her. Moni, if you're here, can you just put a comment and say, I'm here, I'm ready. And if your video is on, you'll come to the top of the line. Right? Uh, is Ijoma ready? Yes, I'm here. Okay, go for it, sis. Please go ahead. Okay, I'm just going to share my screen. Please let me know when you can see it. Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Ijoma Adesanya and I am a, I am pitching for the scholarship for the VCAP um, program. So um, just a quick background about, my, about myself. I'm a social impacts entrepreneur um, focused on helping women fulfill their potential. Um, I have um, a couple of companies which um, I will just explain and speak to. One of them is Kobicam Africa. Kobicam Africa is a gender advisory and advocacy company here in Nigeria. Um, we, we help um, companies mainstream gender inclusion into their programs, their systems, their projects as well. So we've partnered with international companies like um, the um, RMI, Rock Mountain Institute, General Electric, MasterCard Foundation, Solar Sister. And where are we going and what is our vision? Our vision is to have an advanced coaching program for female entrepreneurs. We also want to continue to advocate for policies that advance women in the workplace and society. We want to get involved in the implementation of policies, especially the Women Economic Empowerment Policy and the Child Act um, 2003 policy. And we also want to get global projects um, that help advance women in Nigeria and Africa. I also have a fashion company, which I'm wearing. It's called Nimatai. And Nimatai is a socially responsible fashion brand. We make 100% silk scarves, hand painted by indigenous women um, in Nigeria. And a percentage of our proceeds goes towards girl child education. And our vision is to be able to export our products globally, be able to introduce more product line, um, and also to be able to reach more young girls across um, Nigeria. 
we want to re reduce the um, 7.6 million young girls who are out of school in Nigeria, according to UNESCO. I also have a ministry called Build to Last Women, um, and it's a ministry focused on raising visionary female entrepreneurs who partner with God to advance the kingdom. Um, we had our first webinar series in June, and we had um, one recently in February. The testimonials that have come back have been amazing in terms of um, shifts in their mindsets and how they do business targeted at women, um, female entrepreneurs. And the vision is to have a high impact conference in November and also to um, raise a global community of female entrepreneurs who are executing their pro the programs and agenda of the kingdom with precision and excellence. So why am I a fit for VCAP? Um, I am because I'm a kingdom entrepreneur. Um, I have a track record of impact. I'm also a multi-potentialite, so I do a lot of things, but I want to um, put more structure to what I do. Um, and I obviously have a lot of gifts and expressions, but I need a systemic and structured approach to execute. I'm also at the steward phase of my life, and I believe that VCAP will significantly um, help me to accelerate my vision to empower and liberate women. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Ijama. That was wonderful. I hope we're taking note of the selection criteria. These are the parameters that we will be judging by. And by judging, I mean you and I, we are the judges for tonight. We will provide you a link where you'll be able to vote for the person whom you feel deserves the opportunity to get this VCAP scholarship. Next in line is Lemuel Your Audio. Please share your screen if you wish to and turn your video on. We're ready for you, you have five minutes. Hello, good evening, everybody. Evening. Please, if you can see my screen, can you let me know? Can you see yes, my screen? Can. Okay, yes, we can. Okay, All right. So thank you so much for the opportunity. My name is Lemo Oyele Odior, and I'm the founder and CEO of Eoma Organics. Eoma Organics started a couple of years ago when I gave birth to my daughter, and she came out bold, right? And it was really disheartening for me because I'm someone who really loves to, you know, grow long hair and all of that. So basically, I went into research, and I started to get a lot of, um, you know, reviews from people that I tried also helping grow their children's hair. And it was quite interesting because I realized that a couple of the women that I taught eventually started producing these products and they started their own business, one of which is Red and Maya, a very notable um, hair care brand in Nigeria currently. So Elma Organics Foundation School is a school that was birthed from a desire to see that every other woman just like me with a, a very humble beginning and also married, working from home, can start something for themselves be financially independent, have a very sustainable financial um, independence, and also build something very strong for themselves. So what is our bold vision? To empower women in the beauty industry through education, entrepreneurship, and sustainability. And the big idea is simple, establishing Elma Organic Foundation School to provide women with the knowledge and skills to formulate natural hair care products. Our transformational project is Elma Organic Foundation School offering comprehensive training. We're looking to give more hands-on experiences and community support for aspiring women entrepreneurs. And literally, how does it work? We have a website, which I also built together with my husband, not by myself, though. And um, our curriculum focuses on organic product foundation, sustainability practices, and business fundamentals. Also, our practical workshops, mentorship programs, and networking opportunities, enhancing learning and collaboration. Now, what is the value that EOFS creates? Our value is to empower women to pursue careers in the beauty industry and to also become very, very successful entrepreneurs, to foster creativity, innovative, innovation and sustainability in the hair care and beauty product development. The problem we're trying to solve is addressing the like, lack of diversity and representation in the beauty industry. Particularly for women, we are also providing access to education and resources for aspiring entrepreneurs. We have mentorship programs where we help young women who have no clue 
with the little knowledge that we have to, you know, help them be more stabilized in their business structures and system and whatnot. And the innovation that EOFS delivers is to integrate traditional knowledge with modern science to create natural, high quality products to promote eco-friendly practices and ethical sourcing throughout the formulation process. Now, why do you need to select me? I'm very, very, I'm a very, very strong candidate for VCAP for these reasons. My value really aligns with VCAP. I heard about DDK in church, the Elevation Church, and when I watched her, I just knew that, you know what, I'm going for this woman. I'm not going for her program, I'm going for you. And I just knew that somehow, some way, I was going to be a part of VCAP. And when I stepped into this year, I had no clue what the prize was. I just told God, I want to be a part of VCAP. And then I checked the price. I was like, oh, more. I don't even earn, earn the title of this yet. But I was determined. And I was just scrolling through um, Instagram yesterday. And I saw it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to apply for this. My passion is to be someone who is going to be of a blessing to people. I am very, very strong on helping people. I want to see women grow. I want to see women get better. And I believe that's also what VCAP is all about. And my values really, really align with VCAP. My innovative approach is to empower women in the beauty industry through education, sustainability, reflecting VCAP's focus on creativity. If you look at DDK and everybody that has spoken from this, you just know that we're women who, yeah, I'm already saying we, we're women who are very creative, who want to step into that level that God wants us to be, as God is very creative. And that's something that I desire. And the, the impact potential for me is my project Oma Organic Foundation School to empower more women to drive economic growth, collaborative spirit, wanting to collaborate with more of the people in VCA for collective learning and growth. I'm just going to end here where I talk about Ahoma Wogu. I connected with Ahoma last year on LinkedIn and then seeing that she was a part of Visionary Compass, I just knew that, you know what, as long as Ahoma is there, I can get in. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it's going to cost me. I'm going to try my best. And I just believe this is an opportunity that God has put in front of me. And with someone, for someone who has the eyes for opportunity, I just believe that I'm a great fit and I'm looking forward to be a part of the VCAP family. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lemuel. Well done. That was wonderful. Next person will be Deborah Kemi Olakule. Please share your screen if you wish to. We're ready for yep. you. You have five minutes. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, please let me know if you can see my screen. Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, good evening, everyone. My name is Kemi the Change Meta, and I'm the founder of Health for Money. We're an affordable health insurance company for low income Nigerians. And I want to tell you a quest story. Opa is a girl I met with 20 to 21, and she was 13 years old at the time, and she was a victim of a serious road accident. But due to lack of funds, she instead of going to the hospital, Opa was taken to traditional bone setters, and this led to hip dislocation, chronic pain, and disability. As at the time when I met Opa last, she had a permanent knee. And even at that time, there was risk of bone death and nerve damage that could lead to paralysis all because her parents could not afford the medical treatment that she needed. I could go on and on and on about the story of Nigerians who, due to inability to afford basic medical care, either lose their lives or become disabled for life. I mean, I've seen a, um, a, a pregnant woman who, had, who needed a cesarean section, and because she couldn't afford it, she eventually lost her baby and bled to death. So it started in 2021. And what did I do after our first case? I started to pay out of pocket for people. We called it the Health Relief Project. And these are pictures from us working with the Department of Pediatrics here in UCH Ibadan. But after a lot and lot of research, I discovered this was just like putting a cup in, a ocean, in an ocean. So how then do I fix the larger problem of finding or providing health care for everyone? This is when we discovered health for many. The problem is that less than five percent of Nigerians have health insurance. That is like 10 million people. I could do a quick survey now and ask how many people have health insurance. But I'll, I'll, I'll see a lot of people who might probably have it because we are the airlines. But compared to the people who are on the street, the market woman, the mechanic who are low income and digitally unsurvey, 
we find that a lot of people, a lot of them do not have health insurance. So on the days that they fall ill and cannot afford treatment, they have two options. Either they borrow and they're pushed below poverty, or number two, they, they seek um, self-medication. And that's what Health Money is doing. Simply, we're providing health insurance using the Ajo or Isusu method. Via my market research, I discovered that they're not ready or they're unable to pay the chunk of money, which we call premium, that most people can pay, right? So what I asked them, what if you pay 200 naira every day and then you get access to what the person who sits in an office gets? And they're like, okay, bring it on, we can do that. But there's a caveat. They're not just getting health insurance, they're also getting access to a savings net right here and financial literacy. So the market woman now can invest in the same things that you invest in. This is our products and services. We use a web app. And then for the digitally on survey people, our field agents go into the rural low income areas to provide health care for them. This is a social enterprise and it is fully sustainable on itself, able to generate income that will be used to revamp and renovate primary health care centers to the quality of what we have outside Nigeria. So far, we have pilot tested with 100 people and we hope to do more. But more importantly, why am I a perfect fit for VCAP? I believe the Visionary Accelerator, Compass Accelerator Program is exactly the catapult that I need to move from what we have done to where we want to be. I know that I have an idea that could revolutionize the healthcare industry in Nigeria, but I also understand that I need a midwife. Yes, we have even gotten a bit of traction but to be able to do the things that we want to do, by the end of 2024, we want to enroll 10,000 Nigerians. There is a person I must become. And I believe that the curriculum and the execution blueprint in VCAP will enable me to do this. And much more importantly, it is about the community of people I'll get to meet, the mentors, the industry leaders, and even like-minded visionaries like myself, who will help me you know, bring it to pass and make sure that we save the lives of over 200 million Nigerians. I hope that I'm given this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well done. That was really good, just like every other person. Uh, we'll be moving along to the next person. Is Comfort here? Comfort, Michael. Comfort, Michael, if you're here, please put your video on and share your screen if you wish to. Okay, Comfort is probably getting ready. We will move on to Debbie Amole. Please share your screen if you wish to. You have five minutes. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, please permit me to share my screen quickly. Okay, um, thank you so much for this beautiful opportunity. So um, this is a bold vision pitch for the Melisuna Music Institute, um, which I am privileged to um, birth in the year 2020. And um, my name is Debbie Amoli, and I am a music personnel sent to influence other musicians positively in order to create further positive culture shifts in our society, nation, continent, and the world at large through our arts and skills. And of course, we know that music is a very, um, it's a very integral um, part of our being, our society, our living, our culture. And of course, um, I am looking forward to influence as many musicians as possible. So we, as a dedicated team of music influencers at the Melisona Music Institute, have successfully impacted 160 minstrels to date. Um, when I mean minstrels, I mean musicians, personnel, everyone, as many as are serving in that space, in that musical space. Our mission for 2024 is nothing short of audacious to empower and inspire a total of 2,000 musicians fostering a community of creativity, collaboration, and excellence. 
um, our achievements so far, what we have been able to achieve since the year 2020, um, when the Minnesota Music Institute was established, um, we have been able to engage with um, more than 160 talented um, minstrels, musicians, through mentorship, skill development programs, um, relevant educational musical courses and conferences. We have also cultivated um, an environment that encourages artistic expression, leading to noteworthy improvements in musical um, proficiency. We have also fostered a sense of community, enabling musicians in networking and collaborating on various um, projects. Why I am the right fit for this? Getting the sponsorship at the Visionary Compass Program will play a very pivotal role in expanding our reach and impact. And we look forward to creating a ripple effect through this opportunity, touching the lives of aspiring musicians, fostering a vibrant and thriving musical ecosystem. I am the right fit because I believe that the Visionary Compass program will expose me to a higher knowledge needed to scale the business and even reach a larger audience of musicians and minstrels across the nations of the earth. Um, this higher knowledge will be beneficial for as many musicians as we are able to interact with. It will be a ripple effect indeed. The Visionary Compass program will give me collaboration and networking opportunities with forward-minded visionaries like me, and I really look forward to this. Lastly, the Visionary Compass Accelerator will help us scale up this year, 2024, by getting our impact amplified by the amazing frameworks through the program. We believe this will further enhance our transformative initiative, which is aimed at catalyzing positive change when the music community, um, the entire, I mean, within the music community, the entertainment industry, and then beyond. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well done. That was good, just as every other person. And thank you all for keeping to time. Next person is Omorire Alonge. If you're here, please put your video on. You're free to share your screen and you have five minutes for your pitch. I think Omari Ray's network is a bit glitchy. I'll just give her a moment to get back in. Is Moni Barua here now? Moni, are you ready? Yes, yes I okay. am. Please go ahead. You can share your screen. You have five minutes for your pitch. All right. Um, how do I, I need to turn on my video? One second. Let me share my screen. Yes, we can see your screen. Yep, myself. All right. So Hi everyone, um, my name is Moni Barua, and um, or you can call me Moni Billionaire or MB for short. Um, my mission is to should this, all right. So my mission is to leverage the power of media, culture, education, entrepreneurship, and technology to solve some of the most challenging problems that Africans face. To take African nations and Africans from poverty to prosperity. Um, and to also improve the well-being of Africans globally. My bold vision um, for 2024 is to relaunch a legacy company that I founded some years ago, and I shut down in 2020, called Countless Miles. Countless Miles is a forward-thinking, um, technology-driven company that provides solutions that enable and empower Africans to thrive and to flourish without limits. Countless Miles spans across several industries um, and um, we're developing impactful solutions within these industries, which we think can help us achieve our mission. 
The immediate goal for Countless Miles is to relaunch two new business streams focused on technology and media. The technology stream is focused on um, building technology-driven products that would address um, Africans pressing issues such as like in payments um, and um, such as payments. I'll just put that there. <laughs> the media stream is focused on telling true stories of Africans and the narrative of Africans um, through written and video content. So about me, as I said, I'm Oni Barawa. I envision a world where Africans are always respected and valued as seen as um, um, equally important. Um, as I said, my mission is to leverage the power of many tools to solve some of the most challenging problems that Africans face. My goal is to empower all 54 African nations and over 500 million Africans globally by 2050. My ultimate vision is to see all humans live a life without limits. I'm a technology professional and entrepreneur. I'm an avid traveler and I've traveled to over 30 countries, 60, 60 cities and counting. Um, I'm a writer, author, and speaker. I love learning new languages and trying out new experiences. Um, you can find out more about my professional experience in my LinkedIn profile. Why me? Um, in the next five years, I want to be well established as the best African woman um, in go global business, who manages one of the most forward-thinking technology-driven organizations in the world. Um, this year, I want to launch a significant next-level vision for Countless Miles, and I believe that VCAP will help me achieve this goal. It would also help me um, grow in the area of execution, the multidimensional life flow, and personal systems setup, which I require to be able to achieve my goal and my mission. In 2024, we're going hard or we're going hard. Getting this scholarship will not just mean so much to me, but it will definitely be a sign that indeed <laughs> I'm meant to be in the VCAP class of 2024. Um, I'm here today to speaking to you right now at this very moment um, because I decided to make a bold beginning move. Um, first, by considering VCAP and then applying, knowing I had no funds to pay for the program. Um, but I simply made a bold move, um, despite everything in me pushing, trying to push back, um, as we, as you guys know, the saying started from the bottom, but now we're here. So vote wisely. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was great. Well done. And just in time too, I see Comfort Michael is back. Are you ready, Comfort? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, please go ahead. You can share your screen if you wish so, to do so. And you have five minutes for your pitch. All right. Let me share it. Okay, I can't see comfort anymore. Oh, there you are. All right, let me share my screen.
All right, I think I'll just go without the screen. I'll just go on without the screen. So I'm comfort Michael. Um, the I'll just go without the screen. Um, I'm comfort Michael, the um founder of Comfort Initiative for Health Education and Empowerment. Um, so in 2020, 2010, I wrote my first book. Um, avoiding the trap of premarital sex because I had the burden for the moral decadence in our society. Um, and then I've gone on to write about 12 books in, um, along that line, going to schools and talking to them about the um, need for sexual purity. Now in 2024, what I want to do is a vision that God put in my heart in 2015. He said to me to write a book on Nigeria. At the time I wrote the book, um, but I didn't feel it was, um, I didn't feel fit to release the book. And then in 2020, God began to put a body in my heart for Nigeria, you know, and I would weep and cry. And so I put out that book, A New Nigeria, and the first 100 copies was distributed out for free. What does this vision, A New Nigeria pro uh, Project, what do we intend to achieve? What is the idea behind this? Um, we know that um, the people, um, Nigerians need to know that um, they have the responsibility, accountability, um, they have to be character driven and empowered to um, create a, a, a new Nigeria. Nigeria belongs to all of us and for so long we have left it to um, the handful of people and this wants to we want to bring about a mentally renovated people and a people who are you know have um uh, the right value system and so god gave me that um um that um, acronym race r-a-c-e r stands for um um responsibility a stands for accountability c stands for character driven and e stands for empowerment um responsibility wants everyone to own to take ownership of, you know, making Nigeria great again. And we're saying responsibility is your ability re to respond um, to situations without waiting for someone else. Leaders solve a problem when they see the need. And then accountability to be able to um, account for, um, you know, uh, account for the challenges in the society and say, look, I've been elected to be a leader. I've been elected to be a citizen. You know, how can I make a change, a difference? You know, if I throw pure water on the ground, am I accountable? You know, if I litter the street, am I accountable? If I cheat my neighbor or my family members, am I accountable? <laughs> then we also have um, C, which is character driven. We have to be character driven. Um, and then we have also and character is about the moral, you know, the right moral um, and uh, my bed. policy. Don't be on my bed. Um, you have and also I know, but don't be on my bed. Getting all the knowledge required yeah. to deliver, you know, the assignment. And the assignment is becoming a great citizen for a great um, nation also. What do we intend to do? The, uh, a new, the, the Nigeria National Pledge. It's just a six-line pledge, but it's very powerful. I pledge to Nigeria, my country. We all as citizens have pledged to Nigeria, our country, and we have to take responsibility. We said we are going to defend this nation. You know, we said we are going to be loyal. We are going to be faithful. You know, so we want to bring an awareness and understanding, you know, to this, um, to the Nigeria Pledge. We also want to collaborate with the Ministry of Information. In 2018, my book, What Mom and Dad Didn't Tell Me, a book on sexual purity, on dressing, on pornography, entertainment, um, finding your um, 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 your purpose, was approved by the Ministry of Education and it became a supplementary textbook in schools. That is what we want to do because we know that knowledge is power. And if the right knowledge gets, gets to the right people, then they'll be able to make a difference. Um, how do we also achieve this? We want to ensure that parents who are the first people in society um, to nurture a child to give a child the first education. We want to ensure that these um, parents are able to uh, live exemplary lives, you know, and then instill these good values, the values of sincerity, of honesty uh, um, in, in, in their children, the values of loyalty, of accountability, the values of responsibility, and to say that you don't have to wait for somebody else. And also we have a media who really has to play, play a role in, in bringing this to um, come to pass. Um, so we are going to, um, what do we intend to achieve? We are going to create a, a mentally renovated citizen. We are going to create a people who um, take ownership of Nigeria as a great nation. We are also going to um, bring about a prayer chain because why? why? Why is that? Because we see the last line of our, our pledge says that, um, so help me God. We know that without God, yes. this nation will still remain the way it is because we know that beyond anything, we, we
Yes, thank you so very much, Comfort. Uh, we are at the mark of time right now. Thank you very much. That was great. And finally, it's Omorire Alonge. Mori, are you ready? Yes, I am. I hope you can hear me and everything's good. Yes, we can. You are free to oh. share your screen and you okay. have five minutes for your pitch. Awesome. Um, let me get the share my screen option going. Hi, my name, my, okay, host disabled participant screen sharing. I think I'm not yet given the permission. Should it work? One moment, please. No problem. So, hello, my name, well, my full name is Omori Bula Bobalonge, um, but most people know me as Maureen Bula. It's easier to keep in mind. Um, I'm really excited and grateful for this opportunity to share um, my big next level vision um, called Ehe Nigeria. Now, I figured that the best way for me to be able to do this in time and um, as concisely and as clearly as possible would be to go into my storyteller mode. And so I'm going to share this presentation from the voice of Ehe herself, as if this is an actual human being sharing um, her story. So I'm switching now to Ehe. So hello, hi, my name is Ehe Nigeria. Um, I was born about two years ago and I have defied everybody's expectations of what I would look like. Some people are really sure that I was going to be a fintech. Others are pretty sure it was going to be a marketing service. There was even a point where I was being considered as security software. Um, and at the heart of what I'm meant to be is a way to bring technological solutions to make the life of everyday Nigerians possible. Um, but I, I was being developed and morphed actually. And what the current form that I'm in now actually owes a huge debt um, to the CEO and, co and founder of Visionary Compass Accelerator, DDK, because it was a tangent that she went on during one of her coaching calls um, in 2022, speaking about the potency of Africans data that morphed me into what I am today. Um, and so, yes, Ehe Nigeria is a tech startup poised to trigger the profitable use of Africa's data for its advancement. It intersects information technology and social media for the goal of social development. Um, why do it and why have it this way? Um, why build in here? It's so that it's so that Africans can own Africans' advancement. We find that with a lot of the solutions that have been made for Africa, both those that have succeeded and those ha that have failed, are the ones that have a very keen. Um, sense of what Africa is really about, of a keen sense of knowing Africa. And the only way to really know someone is to get their data. Um, and who knows Africa better than Africans? It's the everyday Africans living in, living and breathing African problems that hold the crucial insights that we need to create the solutions um, that we desire. And the way to get any African to do anything is to welcome them well. They need to feel valued and they need to feel like they have a stake and they have ownership in what is being built and being provided. Um, and that's why our very first maiden pro um, project or product is Enhego, which is a digital platform that provides concise directions for mass transportation in Abuja and environs informed by credible community insiders. Um, and the main thing with Enhe is that we just really want this to be a trigger to change the way we look into pulling out um, Africa's data. Now, I want to tell you about how I work, but so I do not get a stern talking to from my lawyer, hi Chris, about snitching things that have not been covered by NDAs or non-competes, it is going to be quite coded, a bit short. The first way I work is that I'm a digital map. So that's how I provide this information to people, a concise and simple digital map, map that lets people who use the mass transportation system. Now, for those who are not familiar with it, who may enjoy the perks of living in Lagos, where there's actually like a somewhat decent public transport system, in Abuja and quite a few other states in Nigeria, there isn't actually a proper system that follows. And it's kind of a makeshift um system that we operate and it can be very confusing and very hard to follow along with and then uh, hand goes poises itself to solve that problem by providing a digital map 
um, it works as a digital map and as a social platform. So the information is sourced from the everyday people living in Abuja and Everance. And the larger goal is to become Africa's advocate because from the data that we glean and source, we can tell people this is where Nigerians, this is where Abuja, Nasara State people, this is where their focus is and this is what matters to them when it comes to logistics of transportation. Lastly, why my founder? She has tried to sell me and abandon me, um, but I feel like we are made for each other and I feel like she's made for Victor for these very reasons. She's a visionary of uncommon innovations. She always tends to see things differently and is shown up in how she does all of her life's work. She's a very proactive follower of guides that earned her first class degree in sociology and anthropology and that's how she was mm -hmm. And she's a cheerleading cur curator of progress excitedly looking forward of being part of a team of visionaries revolutionizing mm. Africa. Thank you. Thank you, Mari. Well, that, that was great. And we've come to the end of the pitch by the contestants. It is now time for us to vote on, or vote for, I beg your pardon, our favorite VCAP applicant for the purpose of this scholarship. We'll be voting based on the clarity of their vision and presentation. Also the quality of their big idea. Does it create value? Does it solve a problem? Number three, were they articulate, confident, and did they come with energy? And finally, how concise was their presentation and how well did they use their time? These are the four parameters that we would like you to vote for. The voting link is gonna be posted in the comment section and in the chat now, please click and vote for your favorite. One vote per person, please, or one vote per voter. <laughs> you can only cast one vote, so choose your favorite person. Don't vote for two or three, just one person. We're waiting on the other side for the results. Please take a moment to click. The link is also in the comments on YouTube please click and vote for your favorite person. Who do you think deserves the scholarship into VCA based on the parameters that I mentioned? Were they clear? Were they concise? Did they use their time wisely and effectively? Was their vision clear? Do you understand it? Do you really see that there is a need? Does it create value or solve a problem? How was their presentation? Whether they shared their slides or did not, how was the presentation for you? And also, were they articulate and confident about their bold vision? These are the things to consider. Please click on the link, cast your vote, and let us decide as the jury tonight who will be getting this thousands of dollars worth of VCAP scholarship. You are in a good place tonight. Please vote wisely. <laughs> Vote wisely and your vote definitely counts. We're waiting five minutes to vote jury. You can vote for Ijoma Adesonya. She was the first person and uh, she talked about her vision, passion, social enterprise. There's Lenoir who spoke about her passion for the beauty industry. There's Deborah, health for money. There's Debbie Amole, who is a music minister or a music visionary. There's Comfort, who is the visionary behind Comfort's initiative. And there's Maureen, who just presented about a hair app. And also Moni, who said we can also call her the money billionaire. Please vote for your favorite. Click on the link and choose just one person. One vote, please. The voting link is right there in the comment section. Please try again, um, OA. I hope uh, I can refer to you by your initials. And vote for the person you believe deserves this opportunity. Please don't vote twice. Don't vote from other sources or multiple devices. Just vote for the person that you were most impressed by their presentation based on these parameters that we mentioned. These are our voting parameters. Don't vote based on knowledge and friendship. 
<laughs> or whether you're in the same group or community or something. No, these are our criteria. Can you see how easy it must have been for the jury to go through all those VCAP applications and select the best and say, these are the people we want, these are the parameters. So it, it was not based on emotions or assumptions. We have strict parameters, high grade parameters. Thank you for confirming that you voted. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. That's the only link I'm afraid. Are you having trouble uh, voting with that link? Or you can use Chrome. You can use Chrome to try and apply. And if you voted, it's time for you to start to consider what the next step is for you. These visionaries have been bold enough to come out with their vision to say, I want VCAP. I believe that my time is now and I would like to get into the 2024 cohort. But what about you, the voter? What about your vision? What about your bold vision? Have you applied to VCAP? You need to do so. And it's really easy to put together a winning application. We have given you all the tools, all the snippets, all the things that you need to make a good application and put it together. If you check our page on Instagram, Visionary Compass, you'll find the information that you need there. Or just go to any of the Visionary Talk Show links and watch the video and understand what the alumni were saying about how to put together your application. And you can get it done this weekend. There's time, there's quiet, <laughs> there's peace. Hopefully you're not working this weekend. You can sit with it. And in a few hours, you'll be done with your VCAP application. Please don't rush through it. Please send us solid quality applications because there's a certain kind of visionary that we're looking for in VCAP. VCAP doesn't play. And so we're not looking for playmates. Don't play with us. Don't send us the wrong kind of resumes. Don't send us the wrong attachment. Please don't, don't send a song when you should be sending your resume. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> Make sure that your attachment is complete. Your CV is the only thing you're attaching. Please get it right because it says something about your visionary excellence. Make sure you articulate your vision. Make it clear. Very similar to our judging criteria here today. Make sure it's clear. Make sure you articulate it. Make sure you give us your bold vision, not just the vision that you, you used to play, right? Put it together nicely, submit, and we will be ready to review your application. We want to welcome you into VCAP. DDK wants to work with you this year, and it's time for you to get in. Don't even delay. Don't procrastinate. Don't say, um, I don't know if I have this. Do the first step first. Apply to VCAP. Go to myvisionarycompass.com, apply, and you will be on your journey to joining one of these people who is going to win tonight in VCAP 2024. Have we voted? I can see Deborah is just, she's just smiling. We're having fun. Mori is looking like, ah, oh God, my destiny is at stake. Lord, help me. <laughs> Minister Debbie is like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen tonight? And they're just on the hot seat. Oh, I'm, I'm sending you e-hugs right now. You're going to be all right in a few minutes. <laughs> very soon and i want you to start to just envision it and dream of just receiving that email saying congratulations welcome to vcav you have won the scholarship and that's just that's 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 amazing in itself and i thank our lead coach ddk our ceo for being so generous with this scholarship thank you so much ddk can you just love up on ddk in the comment section it's not easy to give out thousands of dollars come on you guys know what's going on right now for how to put this kind of money in, in your hands and say, come get it for free. All you have to do is pitch for five minutes. We should be appreciating DDK. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not seeing it yet. I won't call off this voting section. <laughs> Thank you so much, DDK, for this opportunity to give out the scholarship to people who feel like they are deserving of it based on their bold vision. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. I hope we've all voted, but there are still some people who haven't voted. DDK is saying some votes haven't come in. Come on, help a sister out, right? We rise by lifting others. Be part of somebody's bold vision. Vote for her. You heard her pitch for five minutes. It's it's not easy. If it was easy, you everybody would have been here. So just show them some love and support. Help them by voting for the person you feel is deserving of this. Clear vision and presentation quality of their bold, big and bold idea, the value they're creating or the problem they're solving, how they articulated their vision, the confidence, the energy, and the conciseness. 
And that's that's all. Just select the favorite person for you, and that will be good. All righty, voting is now closed. I believe Dr. Newton has announced thank you for voting. She is the head of that section of VCAP. Thank you for voting. I'll just give a few minutes for the results to come in. And I believe that DDK will be back to give us the results. Are you ready? Drum rolls. Drum rolls, drum rolls in the comment section, drum rolls. If this was live TV, at this point, we'll go on a commercial break. <laughs> And people would hiss and, and just say, gosh, come on, tell us already. You know the result already. Hmm, interesting. I wonder how you know, because I don't even know myself. <laughs> I, I actually don't know who won this. So please, thumb rolls, encourage them. Well done. Well done, Ijama. Well done, Lemuel. Well done, Debbie. Well done, Deborah. Well done, Monique, Comfort, and Mori. You were bold. You were confident. You were audacious. It takes a certain kind of visionary to apply for this and to put yourself out there and say, hey, I'm deserving of this opportunity. Well done. Very, very well done. Well done. We are collecting the results. Where are the drum rolls? Drum rolls. Well done, visionaries. Please encourage them. Encourage them. They did well. And DDK is back. I believe you have the results. This is that part where somebody wants to say, let's welcome DDK, the CEO of Visionary Compass, with the results of this voting. DDK, <laughs> please confirm that you have the confidential results and that no other eyes have seen them. And they've been verified. Um, there is sound I hear. Going to try to this button on. Okay, on it. Okay, fantastico. Um, hundred percent excited. Just listening through everyone's vision, it really got me inspired on multiple levels. Uh, I couldn't vote. I thought it was too much for my soul because I was too inspired by everything. And then I felt like, look. Let me just stay off this this whole jury thing. It's why I'm not even on the jury in VCAP's application process because everything is touching me and I'm too inspired by everyone's effort. Um, the results are out is right here on straw poll. Uh, and I wonder if, I wonder what I should be doing with it in terms of maybe projecting it. Is that what I should do? Or can I just read out the winners? Would you prefer that I project exactly what we have real time? Or can I just read out the winners? What we're doing is selecting our top three winners today with a 100% scholarship, not just one person, but the first three is what we'll do. So based on the voting, we actually see um, what the percentages look like. So we would select the first, the top three, first position, second and third for a 100% scholarship. The good news is that I will generously provide a founder's scholarship to the fourth to seventh position. Um, that is a really discounted offer of as much as between 70 and 90% discount on their access into the program. So one way or the other, you're still a winner and we're extremely proud of the work that you've put in. I hope it encourages you. Uh, my desire is to see you thrive. And 100%, I hope that you are able to experience the sense of pride. We would send you an email. It's somewhere between 70 and 90%. And we will graduate it based on the fourth, the fifth, all the way to the seventh. But the first to the third position will have 100% access into Visionary Compass Accelerator Program. So I will not be reading the fourth to the seventh position, but they will have they will have access to the exact number of votes and their percentages. Uh, but I will be offering the percentages for the first to third position, just so you get a sense of how they did in the, uh, the contest. I'm not sure, no, I won't even read the percentage. I don't, you don't need it. Since we're offering uh, first to third, I'll just read out their position. Okay. 
Uh, lovely. This is so good. And I'm very proud of each of you. On the, um, the third position today for Best Visionary at the Bold 2024 Pitch Competition for Visionary Compass Accelerator Program 2024 is the delectable, distinguished Debola De uh, Sorry about that. It's not Debola Dejikurumi. <laughs> At that position tonight gave us a truly remarkable presentation. I 100% believe in her ability to change the face of the beauty industry through her work, as well as empower women who can also take the charge with her academy is Lemuel Yole Odio of Ewoma Organics. Please celebrate Lemuel at third position tonight, compelling presentation. Very, very, very proud of you. Thankful for you and hopeful for all the extraordinary things that you will create. At second position with a truly, truly remarkable vision to inspire women, uh, advocate policies on their behalf and position them for economic empowerment and equitable access to opportunities is Ijeoma Adesonya. Please celebrate her. Huge congratulations. Well done, Ijeoma, and welcome into Visionary Compass class of 2024. What you must know is all of these winners will actually still go through a bit of a, a second level application process. The only thing is that they are successful already, but we're still going to drill them some more. And I've got jury members waiting to just grab you <laughs> and squeeze you and get some more, you know, demanding process uh, or get you through uh, a bit of a, a process that just validates and verifies that you should be with us at Visionary Compass. But don't worry, I think they'll be nicer. They'll be like, hey, we want you to succeed, you know, submit this resource, provide this, but we're very, very proud of you and we congratulate you on your success. Coming through at first position tonight and actually raking in some very impressive numbers, um, quite a, a remarkable percentage scoring that places them really front lines um, with this position as the overall best visionary for the bold 2024 pitch competition, focusing on a remarkable vision indeed that will um, that has the capacity to trans trans uh, transform a sector we all know needs a lot of attention and needs a lot of focus. And I'm looking forward to how we can help her co-create the solutions that burn in her heart. At first position, all the way, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm not even sure about what I'm saying. I don't know where she lives, but all the way from somewhere in the world. She could have been anywhere tonight, but she's here with us at Visionary Compass Accelerator Program's Fire Chat. Distinguished, exceptional, execution-driven, legacy leader, true visionary on every level. And it will be a joy to midwife what she's building for Nigeria in the course of 2021 is Deborah Kemi Olakunle with her health insurance bold vision for 2024. Congratulations to you, Kemi, Deb Deborah Kemi Olakunle. Proud of you, thankful for you. Welcome into Visionary Compass 2024. Each of our seven uh, contestants and visionaries will gain access um, to resources that will help them truly transform their vision to reality. I'm hopeful that those who have a discounted scholarship would actually also go through the application, get into VCAP, and let's see what we can build with you together. As we go tonight, I'm excited to leave you with a gift um, that I believe, you know, should set you up for your 2024. If you come into Visionary Compass with your uh, application between today 
and 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, I have uh, a different one. So let me pull this off because our dates are different now. Uh, it's now Wednesday, 6th of March. So let me grab that copy for you. I want to show you what we have on offer to really help you make the most of this remarkable year that we're in. So let's do that together. Um, and I hope that you're still feeling truly proud of everyone who has got in today. Um, I'm hoping that we can actually also read from each of you in the comments, but we will excitedly hear from Deborah before we leave tonight, know how she's feeling, receive her, you know, um, what do they call those things that welcomes or whatever speech that you make when you're like top winner. But before you leave tonight, um, a special gift that we've got for you as you come into Visionary Compass Accelerator program. So far, you get your application in um, between now and Wednesday, 6th of March, 2024. Whatever tier you choose between group, executive, exclusive or executive, you experience all the benefits on, on, on each of those platforms right on the in the comment section again. You have the link for you to check out VCAP in closer detail. Some of you have not done that because you keep just excluding yourselves uh, from this possibility. But go ahead and take some time to see what VCAP offers you, the different tiers. I'm keeping a 10% discount for you if you get admitted. I can't confirm if your application will pull through, but apply between today and 11.59 on Wednesday, 6th of March, and I'll keep a 10% discount for you. You would also have access into Unbundling the Decade program. And for those who make their full payments into exclusive or executive tiers, I will meet with you this month in a special execution group coaching full day immersion. It's both in person in a five-star experience in Lagos, as well as live streamed. And our program administrator has clarified that this is 11.59 p.m. W-A-T. W-A-T. Don't come and be like, hey, 11.59 EST is what I was working with. W-A-T. Allow me to welcome our distinguished winner, overall winner, of the VCA Bolt 2024 pitch competition tonight, Deborah Kemi Olakunle. Wow, I don't know what to say, but I'm grateful. I actually cried, you know? And what I just want to say is thank you. Thank you, DDK, for showing up and for carrying with you thousands of women. I've actually been following you now for over six years. Immediately, I came out from the university and I remember sending you an email before health for money crystallized. And you just told me to keep building. And six years, it took six to seven years to build health for money, to turn that vision. And it was through Immerse. So I, I've always been in Immerse since 20, that was six years ago. And I just kept, it just kept forming. And today I can stand here to even talk about this idea. I'm grateful. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, VCAP. I am excited. I cannot wait to get into the program. And I cannot wait to come back 12 months from now and share to the world how it was immersed that took that dream into Health for Money. So I am looking to see what VCAP would take Health for Money from. I'm truly grateful. Thank you, everyone. And yes, to making sure that every Nigerian has access to affordable health care without fear of financial risk or burden. Thank you, DDK. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Mrs. Notch, let's go home. Take us there. Thank you so much, DDK, for your kindness and generosity. Congratulations, Deborah and the other visionaries. 
you are highly favored. Let's say that thou amongst visionaries. Congratulations and well done. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight on this fireside chat. It has been amazing with Diddy K and Lady VJ. We hope that you are as inspired as we are and we expect your applications. Please send them in this weekend. Don't delay. Don't dilly dally. We're ready for you. VCAP doesn't play if you don't play. We'll see you on the other side of VCAP when you send in your applications. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend. Are you ready to turbocharge your vision into reality? We present Visionary Compass Accelerator Program VCAP a 40-week execution-driven coaching program designed for those who dare to dream big. In today's world, what sets dreamers apart from doers is the power of execution. And that is what VCAP is all about. Whether you are an entrepreneur, a career professional, a ministry gift, a thought leader, a public servant, or someone in government, you would find the Visionary Compass Accelerator program as a powerful platform and launch pad to put momentum behind your mission. Over the next 40 weeks, you will embark on a journey of strategic planning, skill development, and relentless execution. Our expert coaches, industry leaders, and success mentors will be with you every step of the way. Imagine being part of a community that not only believes in your vision, but also provides the tools and guidance to bring it to life. What we have within the Visionary Compass Accelerator program are four distinct execution blueprints based on your mastery level. Our digital execution blueprints will support your ability to execute your vision wherever you are currently because it offers you a plug and play step-by-step -step guide with specific actions and tasks that move you on to being able to get your vision to the next level. What is most exciting with the execution blueprint is that we don't just put it in your hands and leave you alone. You actually have certified accountability coaches by the International Association of Coaching in the USA that would also walk that journey with you. You also have access to Dr. Ole Konovalov's Global Visionary Leadership Coaching Certification. You have access to internships and field trips that set you up in a real industry context, whatever your service um, area is. That's the Visionary Compass Accelerator difference. This isn't just a coaching program. It's a catalyst for change. Whether you're a founder, an aspiring entrepreneur, a seasoned professional, or someone seeking personal growth, the Visionary Compass Accelerator program will elevate you to new heights. Don't just take our word for it. Visit our website, www.myvisionarycompass.com, and hear from our community who have experienced the transformative power of VCAP. Ready to turn your vision into reality? Join the Visionary Compass Accelerator program today and become part of a community that thrives on execution, innovation, and success. The future is here. Let's make it extraordinary together. Visit myvisionarycompass.com today.